what's everybody what's up everyone sorry i was i was literally talking to everybody in a, a chat before this um my name's tyler this is sean over here we are rendered reality sorry you're a mess me today chat. yeah we I were know, talking a some... bunch in chat everybody's uh talking up some stuff we were talking lo-fi talking like all kinds of stuff i mean i think yep. some people uh yeah i mean all kinds of stuff so we were a little distracted this morning so a little bit yeah, late one to of the, the uh... developers is in that's working on one of his games and stuff and actually jason another developer is awake this morning which is cool uh but yeah it's good to talk to everybody beforehand too um i guess today we're gonna hit all the uh the kickstarters there's a ton of vr kickstarters going on right now it's kind of crazy um we've got a really cool ar movie that's coming out yeah, uh, we want to show weird. you a little bit of that uh, and a bunch of new games coming out. Um, and we want to talk about Valve's issue with their lawsuit and stuff. So we're yeah, going to hit a bunch kinda of some, things. Kind of some interesting today. topics. It's been a little bit weird, uh, a weird week for the VR news. You know, with OC6 next week, you know, a lot of the focus sure. is on that. So we did talk a little bit about that last week, and we may get into a little bit of that today, too. There's a lot of speculation and stuff going around of what's happening and, and all of that stuff. And speaking of OC6. Right. There's actually somebody headed there right now, and this is uh, Steve Drumheller is headed to OC6 on his journey in his Tesla. He's charging up the Tesla and playing a little VR on the side there. So he awesome. uh, he sent that to us this morning. I love so, the shirt, too. Yeah, eat, sleep, VR, repeat. <laughs> It's pretty awesome. awesome. So uh, I know. he's also I'm doing a fundraiser too. I know we talked about that before, but he's doing a St. Jude's fundraiser for his trip out there. So we do have the link in the description. So make sure to check that out. But what were you going to say? Yeah, I think it's, it's over on Conquer Reality. Is it listed? I forgot the fundraisers through Conquer Reality. Yeah. Conquer Reality. Name. That is yeah. his channel too. His uh, YouTube yep. channel. He's going to be uploading some stuff from OC six and stuff on there. So yeah. looking forward to that. He was that. saying how he had to uh, map out all the uh, stops for charging stations yeah, and stuff yeah. on the way. Well, I think he said actually the car does it itself. Yeah. I think that's good. Yeah, because he we had him on the show, you know, a couple weeks yeah. ago. He filled in for you, and uh, I'm pretty sure he puts in the navigation his trip, and it tells him everywhere he needs to stop. So I believe this was his first stop this morning, was uh, this first charging station. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> that's <laughs> it's really pretty cool, cool stuff. Pretty cool. I know, but I wonder who took the picture for him because I think he's going by himself, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. I believe he did say he was going by himself. So maybe maybe this other uh, red Tesla over there is charging. Maybe he grabbed somebody, and I think he is in chat. I don't know. Don't oh, no. know oh, if yeah, he's he maybe yeah. he maybe the car maybe he's got it on autopilot so he can he still be in chat yeah so he can still be in chat while he's driving so maybe that's the case I'm not sure but I did no. see him in here a little bit earlier so it's bad all this like autopilot self driving stuff just leads to more texting and I can it's, I can convey to that because it's it's bad I mean when you have to put a thumb on your wheel to drive yeah. you know that's it's a little scary huh. <laughs> I get it it's pretty awesome <laughs> yeah though. I'm wondering if that wasn't at a uh, actually Tesla dealership. Because those be, are all yeah. Tesla chargers and stuff. Yeah, I know they have charging stations. I don't know exactly how it works. I've never never drove a Tesla before, but pretty good. Yeah, cool I stuff, know at so. first they put a bunch of them out there just to they like sponsored charging stations so that there were some out there. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know where that so was out there. How many banks? It said, uh, thanks for the shout out, guys. And yes, the car does it for me. Also drives for me on autopilot. And he said tripod. So he must have a tripod. I'm sure yeah. he did have all this camera figured, stuff. Yeah, for, I didn't too, think yeah. about that for all the stuff he's going to do with OC6. But yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, Pretty that's cool. cool. So make sure you check out the uh, the donation the tab there for his uh, for his mm -hmm. uh, uh, St. Jude stuff, though, for the fundraisers. Pretty cool stuff. So, Yep absolutely yeah i wish we could have gone we did we did get invited yeah we just uh, bad timing bad everything. two moves this year and everything it's just uh it's a hard year to make it hopefully next year hopefully next year we can uh get yep. out there and i have a feeling we might uh be pretty disappointed if a lot of the big stuff everybody's speculating does come oh, from yeah. oc6 this year it's gonna be super disappointing to not be there but we will I'll we'll probably find drop out. everything and go get a plane ticket and fly there the same <laughs> <Yeah>. day <laughs> just to be there for the aftermath oh geez <laughs> It'd be amazing. if if what we think i mean i'm hoping but yeah i don't know yeah, it's so much speculation like today but... we may actually close on our other house today i'm hoping um just so i can start moving and stuff before this one sell oh, this one actually did sell uh but I'm hoping to get all that so I can time it up to move stuff and yeah. not have to do what you did. I know you had to do everything in one day. Pretty much, and yeah. It was kind of chaos, yeah. So yeah. that's a hard thing. So yeah, trying it, to avoid that. It wasn't that. fun. <laughs> I got to have my streaming fun. room set up over there so <laughs> I can yeah. make that move quickly. So Yeah, we'll figure That'll it happen. out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. So uh, what, what do you want to get into first? We got a ton of different random all over the place kind of subjects today. So I don't, I know. Know, I don't know where the best place is to start this morning. Well, I myself personally haven't heard a whole lot new going on with OC6. Um, I haven't heard really any big, you know, leaks or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't think there's really been any leaks. To. 
Yeah, I, I haven't heard any leaks, but I've heard just a lot of speculation. You know, a lot of, uh, I think, Upload VR did a thing where they all talked about, you know, what they are possibly expecting to see. I believe on right. the F Reality podcast today, they're going to get into a lot of the speculation of what they think. Uh, Mike from Virtual, Virtual Reality Oasis did a video about what he's speculating. You know, he does that every year and stuff. So it's, it's some pretty cool speculation stuff. You know, it's just hard to sure. say what we're really going to see. I think uh, one of the things we talked about last week was the wireless aspect mm-hmm. for the Quest. And one of the things that they talked about on Upload was actually one of the guys thought that it was going to be a tethered where it was going to be a tethered uh, thing to play quest games from the PC, which sure. could happen too. I mean, that would be easier. That would simplify the whole process of, of playing PC games. I would think on a quest, you know I mean? Just plugging it in, but I don't know. That just seems not, kind of pointless to me. I'm definitely there's not, for there's a not a high enough bandwidth port. I don't think you can handle that off the USB C. Well, I guess you should be able can't to can't handle a good bit. Yeah, I would think so, I don't know. but I don't know. Maybe. I mean, that just seems kind of pointless to me. I mean, right do the wireless and and so many people do it already anyway so right you know absolutely through, yeah through, we know uh, it's possible yeah. so why wouldn't i mean i'd feel like i mean not that it would be a step backwards because it would give you the opportunity to play pc vr um if you know you don't have a headset that can uh, like the quest but i mean it's yeah i mean i yeah. guess it would be it's a good option i mean people would definitely buy it still yeah but i feel like if they want a game changer they have to go to wireless yeah i really I hope feel that's like what happens but we'll see. I, I mean, know. we only got a couple of days. It is not far away at dreams, all now. So I Come know on. it's 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 like the hype train is huge, and I just hope it's not it a is. huge letdown. But we'll see what happens. I mean, there's so many. You're good probably things still that hoping can... for Half Dome, aren't you? I mean, I still want to see more. You know, next gen PC stuff, yeah. PC VR stuff. But I don't know that that's I don't know that's gonna happen. I don't know but... if it's gonna happen, man. All yeah. the guys left. I don't know. Yeah. I feel I like know. I feel like that's half the reason. Yeah. I, do. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I think it's going to be yeah. a lot of software stuff. I think possibly some AR stuff. Uh, I mean, a lot of Quest stuff. I think we're going to get some Quest game announcements, I'm hoping, stuff we haven't even heard of before. I think so that that's would what be pretty I big. I kind of wanted to talk about that, too, because we haven't really had any big announcements for future games at this right. point from you, Oculus. You, know? you mean it's as all far as Quest stuff? stuff? Or just What's in general, that? yeah, like Quest stuff, or just in general, because we've had like Either. Stormlands, well, Asgard's Wrath, all that stuff. But that stuff is kind of previous. We've heard out. about those, yeah. Like, you know, we don't have any future talk of any future games projects that they're working on. So I am really hoping for like a big triple A announcement here. Yeah. That we're gonna get something, whether it be a year or two from now. I mean, look how long Stormlands has been. You well, know I, mean, I mean, we are getting the uh, uh, what is that studio that made Titanfall or uh, yeah, yeah, um. Uh, I can't think of it. Now either. That is yeah, going to yeah. be announced. So we are, and supposedly you're going to be able to play that too. Now I can't think right. of it. Now I can't think of it. But, sure. uh, but yeah, so yeah, that I is going to, that's going to be the big one. themselves, you know, are they, are they funding any big triple a game yeah. that they're pushing, you know, like the next Stormlands? They should be talking about that right now. Yeah. And I don't... think we will. I think, I think they will. I think we'll see oh. some of that kind of stuff from oh. OC six, I believe, but I don't know. It'll be, it'll be interesting. It's hard to say. I mean, there's just so many possibilities. The possibilities are really endless. You know, yep. we're just going to have to wait and see. And hopefully, uh, I do have to work those days, but hopefully I'd like to try to get into the venues, Oculus venues, to watch yeah. some of that from inside the Quest. I think that'll be really cool. So Yeah, that would be. Too bad I had to work. But. Yeah, I'm assuming we're probably going to get some accessories, probably, for the Quest. Maybe yeah, I mean, they got the two the headphone ports. You know, people have been talking right. about that. Like, there has to be a reason that other than the, you know, well, the earbuds. Is. But, yeah, the earbuds. But, yeah, but there's got to be mean, more yeah. than that. I, I mean, know. it's just crazy. I mean, they're giving so much sales to HTC for the deluxe audio strap. I mean, you know, everybody's putting that on the Rift S now. That's starting to be a thing. You know, uh, Greg's VR yep. did a video on that and posted a bunch of stuff on our subreddit. We were talking, I mean, on our Discord, we were talking about that. Uh, Mike from Virtual Reality Oasis just put out a video where he did it to his too. So, mm-hmm. I mean, they got to do something. I mean, we've talked about this I a know. bunch, but they got to do something. So. I know. Respawn. It, yeah, the respawn yeah. game. That's, uh, respawn. that's yeah, what there I was trying to think of. Yeah, I need to, I need to get back into chat. But yeah, it's uh yeah, I don't know. I feel like we'll get some accessories. I feel like we'll get some games. Uh, hopefully <laughs> one of the accessories is a wireless adapter. I'm yeah, hoping. Hopefully. But past that, I I don't know, man. Yeah. I just I just feel like the last ones, the last connects have been kind of letdowns. Yeah. I mean not I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, the last one was good, but Past that, I feel like there hasn't yeah. been any big announcements I mean, that some we didn't people see are, coming. Some people are really know? even expecting to see another headset, some kind of another, I don't know what kind of headset they're thinking. I mean, I don't know AR stuff, but some people are speculating, you know, a new VR headset that does AR as well, like, or, sure. or just going, you know, 
with off of what the AR stuff that could be possible with what they have right now with the insight, you know, the Oculus right. insight system, but you know, that's black and white, like it is stereo, exactly. but that could be pretty limited to what it could do. But yeah, I mean, some people are even speculating that. And I don't know if that's going to be, I don't think I don't that'll know. come from Oculus. Not first. Yeah, I, I mean, they're I know they're working on AR, world. but I don't know if they're ready to bring out an actual AR headset, you know what I mean? To compete with Microsoft and Magic Leap yeah. and, I don't know. I, I I don't know. I have a hard time seeing that, but nope. maybe. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, we'll see. Just Xbox port. That's all. Yeah, Xbox port. That's all I'm excited sure. for. So, yeah. and another thing, tomorrow, <laughs> I think it is tomorrow, the 22nd, right? Borderlands 2 VR. Yes. Yeah, I think that's tomorrow. So, yep. that comes tomorrow. Unfortunately, still no co-op as far as I we know. know. Well, like, it's not going to be. Yeah, which is super unfortunate. Hopefully, that comes down the road because I think that would be a... a pretty big selling I don't point think for will. the game but i really don't but i mean it's i i'll probably still pick it up i'm cu- what what was the price point do we know the price point of that um i don't remember what borderlands 2 vr is did, did they a... up it from borderlands 2 so, curious about that yeah i'm not sure it just says so if you go to the steam page it doesn't give you the price yeah, yet so doesn't say mean, yet. we'll find out tomorrow okay. but well, yeah. i'm guessing like 30 bucks or something what was it on probably. i don't remember what it was on playstation yeah, but, I don't know either. Yeah. I'm sure somebody knows. I mean, some people, you know, I've already played this, you yeah. know, through. So it's pretty um, exciting, pretty exciting stuff. Yeah. I know a lot of people have been looking forward to this, and I'm glad it came. You know, at least it wasn't, you know, Resident Evil, where it never came oh, to yeah. PC yet still, which a lot of people expected that it would, but. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. Man, chat is busy today. I don't know. I can't keep up with it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so oh. much hype about OC6, for real. I know. Yeah, <laughs> it's 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 gonna happen. We're gonna get something. We're gonna get yeah. some good tidbit. I just have a feeling. I have a feeling we'll get something. I have a feeling it won't be the progression that everyone in the VR community wants, and I feel like that's why everybody left. Yeah. So I feel like we're gonna get something. I just I don't know. I think uh, uh, wireless PC streaming to the Quest, an official thing, you know, could be a pretty big, pretty big game changer. I, I think that would sure be pretty awesome. But I mean, um, if they could get that, couldn't they stream it from the Xbox too then? Yeah. Without no, right, having right, any right. adapters or anything, probably. <laughs> I mean, it's got wireless adapters built in and all that fun stuff. So, have you kept up with any of the stuff going on with the uh, Cosmos controllers, the battery yeah. life? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, talk about that a little bit. This is the tweet. I'm that, not this too is the excited tweet. about yeah, that now. This is what I went mean. out there. So, basically, they said in, in their response to the, the charge time or the battery life, they're saying from their test, we've seen over two hours of nonstop use before battery replacement is required. So they do say over two hours, but still around that two hour okay. mark. I mean, they're using two AA batteries compared to the Rift, which is using one that lasts a long time. I mean, I it, yes. I mean, I've played a long time in in the Rift without having to change the batteries. And I do think the new ones last a little bit less than the CV1 sure. controllers. The they CV1 might. controllers seem to last forever with the batteries. Yeah, they but do. They wait, last. I mean, way more than two hours, hours probably. Yeah, way say. more than two know. hours. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I even emailed them. I reached out to them just to see if we could get like an official response because a lot of people are saying this isn't true. You know, this it's not accurate or whatever. But I haven't seen anything else official from them. And I, as far as I know, this is all we've seen. And I mean, if that's true, that is super disappointing. I mean, that's going to be, I mean, literally every time you go to play VR, you know, if you have around a two hour session, almost every time you play, you're going to have to put new batteries in it. You're going to put four new double A batteries in your controllers almost every time you want to play. Yeah. I don't, I'm not a big fan of that. I don't know. That seems terrible. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I am a fan like where this guy in this tweet, I, I forget who this was, but said, about how he was disappointed they weren't rechargeable. I would rather have the hot swap batteries. You know what I mean? I would rather. I agree. I don't want them to die and be done, and then I have to charge them, and I can't play until they're done charging. I would rather pop in a new battery. And I think yeah. me and Paradise Decay were talking in one of one of the chats about uh, like what I do, and he does a similar thing. Is like on Black Friday, Home Depot always mm-hmm. has that big, huge case. I think it's like a hundred double A batteries, a hundred triple A batteries. You this one. Yeah, yeah, so I buy that every year. So, I mean, yep. and it's cheap. And so I keep those all year. They last well over a year, mm-hmm. you know, and I use them in all different kinds of things, but I yep. always have them at the ready. But yep. I might have to start buying two or three packs of those if well, I get a Cosmos crazy. and then only last two hours. You know, that's going to be. That's nuts. I just, yeah, that to me. I mean, sure, you could buy rechargeable batteries and do all that, but yeah, I don't I mean, know. That's I, don't, a, I feel like you don't get the life so, out of rechargeable so in batteries chat, much. 
GN VRS Gaming says in No Man's Sky that would be unacceptable. I mean, people oh go gosh. way longer than two hours in No Man's Sky, and that's and Jim Hall did mention the uh, rechargeable batteries necessary. So I mean, that would be a good option if you have a couple sets. You know what I mean? To where sure. you pop the new ones in, you start recharging the other ones. Once those ones are dead, you swap them back and out. Can. But and man, you could just, do that now with touch. Yeah, and, and a lot of people too, do. A lot of people do do that, and I've thought about. I doing just don't that as have well, a need but... to for the cost of yeah. what the batteries. What we buy them for ten bucks, I think. Yeah, you know, something US crazy. Dollars. Yeah, and they yeah. last a long time. I don't have to change them that often. Them, but a whole year that pack lasts me a whole year no problem so it's not even worth the hassle of recharging for the 10 bucks yeah. you know yeah so, so so recycled I asks know. how does the AA battery discharge in an hour is that even safe and yeah i don't know but i think a lot of it is the the way they're using that light you know they have that really bright right. light and that's what it's actually using for tracking it's like a qr code that it sees you know we didn't talk about that that actually scares me because i have a ton of issues so i have a window you do off have this a side of, of me over here and uh <sighs> with that window when i play in the evening the sun's right. going down the sun's coming directly through and we would play you know we'd be playing contractors and stuff after work and uh, I would get that light coming through and my tracking would completely go out on me yeah. if I was facing that direction. So that's using infrared. If they're actually using the cameras to look at that light, mm -hmm. what would regular lighting do? You know, that that really would scare yeah. me. Yeah, I mean, I if, know. That, if that, you know, UV light overpowers that, you know, just regular light coming sure. out of that thing. Yeah. Well, just know. reflections and everything. I mean, I don't know. That's, yeah. they, I'm sure they've tried it, hopefully. Yeah, it'll be interesting um, to see. I think I might go ahead and pre-order one. I sure. don't know that I'll keep it. You know, I'll probably get it and see how much I like it. And if I love it, then maybe trade out some other headsets, get rid of those, or maybe just sure. get rid of the, the Cosmo sell it or something. I don't know. I don't, I just want to try it so bad. You know, I do, I am I really know. interested. There's a lot of cool features about it. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of cool stuff about it, but it's just still, it's at a price point that seems like a lot of money. And after every, all this, all the I money I've it. spent this year on headsets, you know, it's hard to justify spending that much money to, to get another one. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, and keep all the, all the rest. It. It's just hard, but yeah, what happens know. in the YouTube world, man? You got to buy them up. Uh, buy guess. it to try it. You have to. <laughs> Sad. Yeah. But if you knew somebody you could borrow from, but you're going to be the only one in the area with one probably. Yeah, I don't so. know. <laughs> I haven't even really found anybody that's really said that they've pre-ordered one. I know. You know, other than some of the, the YouTube people and stuff, but I haven't, you know, I don't know. Sure. So. Well, I mean, yeah. And what? The reverb just went down in price, didn't it? Or it was on sale yeah, somewhere? The re I think, was, I think it was on sale for four ninety nine or something like that. So yeah, I think somebody posted on our Discord yeah, that yeah. it was on sale somewhere. It is on sale, which is which is interesting too. And I think they as far as I know, they got a lot of the issues worked out. I don't know for sure. It's still a little I'm still a little nervous about it, but yeah, I mean, for me, I still want a Pimax. Like, I just want that wide yeah. field of view. Um, well, I mean, now you're at a good point to get one because you have the lighthouses sure. from the index. You can use your index controller. So really, yep, you can get right? just a headset. You know what right. I mean? And that, and that's that what would, would be do. an option. My thing is I actually wanted to wait on the sword controllers. Yeah. I wanted the sword controllers. And I know they were, a, you know, a mix of controllers, but... I mean, maybe I'd like them more than the index controllers, you know, or the, yeah, the I knuckles. Know. So I don't know. But uh, right now, I mean, at this point, they've been talking about them for how long? You know, people have had those pre-orders from the Kickstarters on them for a year yeah. and a half probably now. So I don't I don't know if they're ever going to happen or not. But I don't know. Pimax is probably next for me. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be interesting uh, unless a new uh, unless a new Oculus headset comes out or, or Samsung does something. True. It's hard to say. I'm I mean, we've, still, we've gotten, yeah, Samsung would be nice. We've gotten a lot yeah. of headsets this year, so I don't know. I, if, know. I don't. I don't know if next year will be anything like this year. Hopefully not, because I can't afford to have another year like next year buying that many headsets. Right? It's crazy. So how about but, the Knuckles controllers? Have you heard much about them? What about? Them? Oh what's yeah, going I know. On with it? Well, I know. I mean, there was ClickGate, and then now there's yeah, you know the crazy, stuff going man. on with the uh, straps and. It's yeah. all over the place. Yeah. I know, and they actually, they've they've done an unofficial redesign let's say of the controllers um and i don't i don't have any but i, I know some people who have seen it and it's kind of crazy you know that they're already trying to rework these controllers and almost stopping production in them yeah they're having um, yeah they are it's it's kind of it's not i mean i'm glad they are i'm glad they're addressing it um and i think some things at valve got pushed under the rug initially maybe but I'm glad they're addressing it. It's just too bad that they didn't find this out or have some better quality control before they came out. You know, yeah, I'm kind I of mean, run through some tests. You well, know, they, they've been out forever. Thing to happen to them, I mean, the so. knuckles have been out for a long time. They've been in the hands of developers for a long time. They've been giving right. feedback for a long time. So it's not that it's a, a bad controller or a bad design. There just seems to be some really big 
like missteps of things that should have been addressed. You know what I mean? It's not like it's a I bad know. product, but there's just these little flaws, you know, just like the sure. click in sticks, you know what I mean? Like, and some one of the articles I read about the cosmos is that somebody was, and it might've been the uh, tested video where they were saying that they clicked the, <laughs> the joystick to make sure it clicked in all directions all the way around. And, you know, like that stuff just seems like so easy to catch before all those went out. It makes no sense, but I know. Yeah. Well, that's what I was saying. So Pimax had that whole thing happen too, when they, you know, originally pushed out their headsets and they were all you know, going bad and dead. Well, I think that was, stuff that, yeah, they had some breaking. They had some issues yeah, so, with the uh, wire. So and now all that stuff. they have a huge testing. I mean, not huge, but, they test every single headset that goes out. Like they literally yeah. hook them up to PCs. They run them through courses and test and stuff, put them back in the box, literally go in the shipping box and then out they go. So they know that they do have to test this because if bad ones go out, right. that's what happens. You get this bad rep, yeah. you know, right out the gate. So, you know, now it's in everybody's head that I don't know, you know, knuckles might not be great if I buy them or I might yeah. get a bad one or. Yeah. I so mean, the bad thing sucks, too with you know? valve, you know, that's not their bread and butter, you know, their bread and butter right. software. So, you know, they're getting into the hardware game that is a sure. whole nother thing. I mean, they've had some hardware stuff come out in the past, but yeah. this is, yeah. you know, this is kind of the big one in, in my opinion, but mm -hmm. yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, I know. I just, I really hope they do get it fixed. Yeah. Um, so, I know looking I guess, at one of mine, I know the strap, like where the strap attaches, they yeah. have redesigned that even. Yeah, already. I'm a little nervous so. about that now. I, I am a little bit more careful with it, adjusting mm -hmm. that. Like, I don't Tighten want something down to happen and stuff, to that. And, yeah. yeah, I know. For sure. But yeah. so I guess Jason did get his new index controllers yesterday. So he's back at yep. it. So that is good. And he also mentioned something about Star VR with a, a winky face, which, yeah, I, I would know. love to have one of those, but that's just crazy yeah, expensive. The price but, wasn't yeah, <laughs> crazy. Yeah. I know. That would be the sure. dream. And I've talked about that multiple times, but it's, yeah, that would be, that's the ultimate headset right now. That would be the dream headset. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. So, but I know I'm pretty happy with what we have as well. I mean, yep. they, they work great. It's just, I'm ready for the, the next uh, wave of amazing games to start coming out. So didn't, uh, if I'm not mistaken, didn't Sebastian get to try the star VR? I believe headset? he has. Yeah, I believe he I has. Think so, and right? Supposedly he's oh, going to get one for his new, uh, his new stuff that he's doing with his studio and stuff. He's going to be getting one over there. So that hopefully that we can cool. have him on our show here. One of these days, yeah, once we'll he gets to close that. to really or opening and, you know, close to his project yeah. being done there. So that would be really cool. Sure I'm, I'm really excited to see it. I so, really want to go. We might as well stay on Valve. We might as well stay on, stay on the sure. topic there. We got a couple things, you know, some, uh, stuff came out about their new game, uh, talks. It was in some kind of talk that one of the guys was talking about the game that's coming out. And a, a big focus of it was on the sound, uh, making right. the correct sound in game. And a lot of the, what they talked about was doors. I didn't listen yep. to the whole thing, but basically talking about, you know, in a normal game, when you go to like on a flat game, when you go to a door and you press a button, the door opens, you know, it, it knows how long that door takes to open, you know, and all that. So the timing for the noise, the door makes yep. is all preset. Yep. That well, five with, second timing yeah. for the door is a five second sound bite of it creaking and opening. Yep. Right. Well, with VR, you know, it depends on how fast you open the door or how hard you push it open. You know I mean? All that stuff, yep. which I never really thought a whole lot about it, but it really does add, it's just another one of those small little tidbits that add to the experience. You know, if you can open that door and you open it real slowly, you know what I mean? You're scared or whatever, you know, and it, yep. and it, and it follows the sound of what the door would do in real life. You know, that really does add to putting you in that place, which is pretty cool. So, yeah. and I, I mean, we have, we've talked about that a lot, you know, especially when the uh, index came out with the headphones and stuff yeah. and how much sound matters, you know, yep. and it's a big deal. I, you know, it's one of your big senses. So mm -hmm. it's just as important as visuals, you know, feel um, like your touch and stuff. I feel is, you know, when we're gaining ground on that and then right. sound and vision um, are the ones that really matter with VR. So I feel like the higher we step those up in game, then the better it seems, the yeah. more real it seems. So yeah, any of that helps. Yeah. So I mean, that was a big focus on it, which I thought was pretty cool. I mean, that was for the, their next flagship title, which we don't know what it is still, right. but, uh, but we know there's doors in it. <laughs> yeah, we know there's <laughs> doors. And actually Breaking talking about doors, that, right? that was on uh, one of the tested their podcast thing. They were talking about how that makes them think that it's going to be a Left for Dead game. Yeah, it might with be. With the doors, which that, you know, I don't know. I mean, it, it could be. But, I mean, I, I don't think Portal. Portal didn't have any doors. I mean, it was all you were making, you know. Well, had elevators, maybe, but. Yeah, but it wasn't. It had, it had actuators. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I, I mean, you were shooting the gun, you know, where you were shoot, put, putting yourself through the portal right. and all that stuff. But, yeah, I don't think it would be a Portal game if they're going to focus right. that much on doors. It's definitely going to be something else. But, you know, yeah, Left for Dead not. or, you know. 
Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Especially that's if they're thought. worried about like creaking, like of right, doors. right. I think that's, that was even stated too. So. Yeah, I think that's why they they went that route. Right. So that would be interesting to see, but. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, it it would make sense, but yeah, we need so, Portal Man, Half Life. Yeah, when, yeah. Man, it could be Half Life. Could be Half Life, I guess. Yeah, could I don't be. know. Hopefully, yeah, we no. see soon. I mean, we're gonna hopefully see that this week as well. You know, if <laughs> if some of the rumors right. are true that they're gonna drop something big, you know, during OC six, then we could see possibly what that game is that we will be getting. Hopefully, and I think it's supposed to be releasing this year. I think they talked about this year that it was supposed to be released. So, I don't know. Hopefully that there's going to be a good one for sure. I, ho- I hope they live up to the, uh, their uh, yeah. last one where they yeah. dropped a bomb before. So hopefully <laughs> yeah. we get something. I'm yeah. still hoping for that wireless for the index. Yeah, that'll be nice too, for sure. That would be. But, Especially if they feel like the Quest is going to be like the wireless PC like adapter deal. Yeah. And they drop that right before. Ooh, that would yeah. be so good. That could be, be a, could be a pretty good move. But they are running into some trouble lately. So they, they have are. been sued by, I think, the French High Court. Yeah, yeah the, some and, French uh, company or so, it was like a French organization or something like that. Yeah, but they the ruling so far and it was all over the fact that you can't resell your games on Steam. So it, that was Steam, one of the things. Yeah, yeah there one were of multiple things. things. Yeah. yeah, but there's no secondhand store. That was the main point that there's no like right. secondhand store or anything. So basically, you're selling games to somebody and then they can't resell them, which Correct. you know. As right now, as it stands, they have to abide by that or they start to get fined. I think it was like 3,000 euros a day for so many for a year or so or whatever sure. it was. But, I mean, the big thing, and, and they're going to appeal it. They're not. They're planning on appealing it, so it's not, you know, this isn't over yet. But I was curious just to get into how that would affect the store. Like, how is that going to affect uh, developers, right. you know, teams? Because, I mean, if you're able to you know, buy a game off of somebody else selling the game, you know, and it's half price of what you can buy the game new for. But here's the thing. You can't sell something for a depreciated value that doesn't depreciate. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, let's say you buy a car over time. You have wear and tear on it. It wears down. It's not worth as much with a game. It's an electronic file. It's not a There's physical There's no wear copy. and tear in that. You're not getting half of the game when you sell it used. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, like GameStop, so you know, those hard. kind of stores have done that for a long, long time, but they but were selling a physical copy. They were selling a physical and copy. And there is wear and tear on that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If a disc is scratched or something, or you're not getting the, the booklets with it. Yeah. Or, the or they're case. torn up or. Yeah. Right. So yeah. that changes the value of it with something that's an electronic file. That's hard to do. But at the same time, you know, you're buying something then that isn't actually there. It isn't a physical thing. Right. That's so where it gets you're weird. A premium I think. for that. Yeah. So I, you know, I kind of thought about this the other night. So what if they gave you a buyback so that you didn't have the game anymore because they do, they could do that. They can pull the key for that game. And you got a buyback price for it when you were just done with it. Instead of selling used games, instead of them losing the money, they just don't make as much. Right. Does that make sense? So like, let's say you buy a game for 40 bucks. There's a $5 buyback on it when you're done with it. You're getting something back then. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, a lot of that's probably going to depend on how the court rules of, you know, what they need to do. And I don't know, but I mean, they could even do a thing where, you know, if they did for, I don't see them doing this a secondhand market, but if they did have to do that, they could always, you know, when you sell that game, steam gets a portion of the sale again, and then the developer gets a portion of the sale again as well. So if you sell the game for $20, you know, you might make $10 where $5 is going to steam five, you know, and I don't know, but I mean, that's something they could do, but I don't see it happening. Why would you ever buy a new game though? Why would you ever buy it? Exactly. That's what I'm worried about. You know what I mean? I mean, the developer side, you know, is what I worry about. Like that's, you know, because I mean, in VR available. especially. Like, if, okay, let's say you went to GameStop and the game used wasn't there on the shelf. What are you going to do? You're going to walk over and buy the new one because right. you still want it, right? But with online, everybody in the world can buy off of them. So there's, you would think there would always be stuff unless a game is so popular then right. that, you know, they're all used and I mean, up. eventually a game, they might not produce physical copies anymore. And then, you you know, you that drives the cost of the used copies up if you can't buy it new you know once they get older and stuff like that but that's not really the case with a with an electronic store you know it's just yeah it's a really hard thing yeah and there's no good way about it i don't think yeah so. i mean i don't i see them appealing this and fighting this and i mean i'm sure they have other options i don't see them doing a secondhand store because also that would really hurt them their no their store because people could go you know 
I don't know, because there, then there's are all the stores going to have to do that? Like, is the Epic Game Store going to have to do that eventually? Like, I mean, what does that mean for all of the game stores? You know what I mean? Sure. Like, that's it's just weird. It's a weird thing. And and my whole thing with the electronic games is that in my eyes, back in the day, like they they started going this route to eliminate you know the secondhand business anyways in a sense you know i mean i'm sure sure the cost of production is lower because you're not making a physical copy but you know even physical copy games and gamestop you know when somebody buys a secondhand game the 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 publisher yeah yeah, but the the actual game maker isn't getting a cut of that no you know what i mean so yeah i don't know i I just don't think they're gonna have any type of used section on there i i think their best bet would do a buyback yeah and maybe i really do option i don't know so laser rob says uh, Valve twenty nine ninety nine a month subscription, all you can play. So, I mean, they could True. do some kind of they subscription could. service, you know, or they could even, I don't even know, like, could they just suspend the Steam store in France? Like, could they just say, fine, we'll shut down Steam in France. You can't buy off of Steam in France sure. anymore. We're not going to have, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Is that an option? Sure, but... they could. But then, see, now another country might jump on board and it'll just snowball then, too. Right. So that's hard because they always look back on a case like that so i don't know that's hard It's really weird it'll be interesting to see what happens i I really don't know what happened what's gonna happen i don't i mean i see steam fighting this until you know it goes away but well so the other one that they had too inside this lawsuit which kind of is the only other one that i kind of seem to care about was that let's say you close your account down did you catch this one oh yeah the money left over in your account if you had money in there goes to them you can't actually get that back um, and that was another one I think that they lost in there too. So, right. I mean, that I makes sense to me. I mean, if you, yeah, that, I don't but I mean, I don't know that. how many people yeah. really closed down their account, but I mean, if you have money left in right. there, like, yeah, give it back to the people. I mean, I, I mean, that right. makes sense. I mean, it's not yeah, your money to keep, you know, if they didn't mm-hmm. buy anything with it, give it back to them. That makes sense to me, but mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, I agree. I don't know how they would, but yeah. I mean, I guess you could just, it depends on how you got it. That's the thing. Right. Yeah. And that's what Jason said. The The Epic store would get a huge boost then, which, you know, it would really affect the whole market. I mean, sure it's going it to affect everything, oh, absolutely. That, you know, depending on what happens. Yeah, but. I don't know. It's going to, that'll be tough. Yeah. Depends on if other countries like follow suit and stuff. And I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. We're definitely, definitely we'll see. It's some crazy, crazy stuff going on for sure. But I know like all the stuff on Kickstarter, man. Have you, Yeah. there's so many VR games on Kickstarter right now. Yeah. And I don't mean like, Little games that aren't making like but twenty bucks. Yeah, I mean we're talking up games. to two what two hundred fifty thousand yeah, on one for, of them. Uh, like, yeah, for Zenith. Zenith. I mean, we talk about that a little bit. It's crazy though. I mean, the amounts of money that these guys are raising. You know, I think so. Blair from LoFi was even afraid he wouldn't even make it. You know, and yep. it's unbelievable how how quick he actually made it. Yeah, but so uh, that's a two hundred thirty four thousand dollars. Of That's a crazy. twenty five thousand dollar goal, like this game is uh, probably setting records. I don't know. There's five days to go. I mean, sure. it's just yeah, it, it's it is nuts. I mean, the the demand for this game and stuff is just crazy. Yeah, I know. It, and it it does look. I mean, it looks like it would be a lot of fun. But I mean, man, I yeah. mean, I think people are just really wanting like a large scale MMO. Yeah, and the whole thing. anime scene too. I mean, the anime scene sure. is pretty huge. Sure, so. it is. Yep. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's just yeah. crazy. It does look good, though. I mean, color-wise and stuff, too. I mean, they should be able to do some amazing stuff with this game with the money that they've raised, you know what I mean? So I'm, yep. I'm looking forward to seeing what all comes out of it. But I know. Yeah, it's Those some massive cool. numbers, some massive numbers for sure. I know they'll be definitely hiring some people on probably at this point. Oh, they got to, I would imagine. Yeah, oh, for sure. I don't even know what their goals are. I mean, I'm sure I they know passed they have, them. Yeah. I know they, yeah, I don't know what all their stretch goals and all that stuff were. I haven't right. kept up with it a whole lot. I just know I keep seeing articles about it and people talking about the numbers yeah. that are, they're pulling and just being super Well, I, I'm, I just impressive. get so used. To, I've been signed up for their emails for months. Yeah, now, I've seen their six emails months. too, yeah. And I keep seeing them come through and I keep updated on it and stuff. And then after seeing these numbers, it's just like, oh my gosh, like it's crazy yeah. what they're doing. So, but it's going to yeah, be awesome. I mean, it's going to be a good thing for VR as a whole. You know yep. what I mean? If they can really yes, pull off something amazing with this game, I mean, this could pull in a lot of flat gamers that, yeah. that want to be a part of this uh, world. So, yeah, I'm uh, all about it. Gaming science teacher said she backed Zenith actually. Yeah. And she said she thinks it was like Pre-ordered. 20 bucks to back it. So, yeah, yeah that's pretty cool. Yep. That's and awesome. And there, I mean, you can get in pretty low i mean i think the first pledge is ten dollars five dollars for the game i don't know if that gets you the game though no right there game right there 29 dollars yeah 29 dollars right now gets you the game so yeah it's pretty cool i mean it's pretty absolutely yeah 
I know. I forget. Stuff. I forget what I what I we were just talking about that. What I pledged for LoFi too. Oh yeah. Um, I, I I didn't splurge for the robot. I didn't. Oh, I'm I sorry. To so bad. <laughs> I know, I Maybe we could so talk that. him into it, but but no, I didn't. Yep. Um, but yeah, we both pledged it. Um, I know we're super excited for this game. Yeah. And actually, I mean, really, we already have the game. Um, but, you know, still, I want to back it. Build. Just because yeah, I, we have the, I back the current anything build. that I'm super passionate about. Yeah, this um, one, no matter what it is. I've been excited about this game for a long time. Ever since he first started putting out little clips about Lo-Fi, you know, a long time ago. I've been keeping an eye on this. So, I, I think, mean, it's, I think I've been excited for this since I was like 14, maybe yeah, before 14. it was even a thing. <laughs> That's true. The cyberpunk sci-fi world. Right? It's just oh going to be gosh, amazing. Yeah. So they are up uh, to $67,178 as of right yep. now. Uh, they did just unlock the wastelands. So which the, is cool. Yeah, yeah. Which I'm excited about. The next one is yep. the cyber wolf. Uh, what is it? Cyber wolf companion. I think it was called. Yeah. Yep, so we have a couple right. images. I got a couple images off of here. So cool. I can't wait. I need to go back in and see if he's updated it because I think he's just about, from what I heard, he's about to push it out to all the backers, the demo of it and stuff. Yeah, the demo should be coming soon. I'm not sure exactly when that's coming, but it should be coming real soon. Yep. But this is like just kind of an image of the wastelands, which is something that I was excited about to explore. You know what I mean? That was something that I looked forward to getting into. Which so I was glad when I saw that it did hit that mark. I know. I'm trying yeah. to read. Let me see if I can find this. Yeah, and that's what actually somebody uh, before the show in uh, pre-chat was talking about the music and stuff because we talked about that with him, um, and it sounded like somebody that actually produces music was in chat asking about it. And yeah, he is definitely looking for people. He's definitely looking for a certain type of music. Right. So I know you can kind of hear some of that in uh, if you go to his Kickstarter, which is down in the description. Uh, he's got a couple audio files or maybe music yeah, from so artists. Gunship. That... Gunship is the big yep. one. They So they did yep. sign Gunship to do uh, songs for the game. And yep. there was some another one that they were talking about getting. And yeah, he's constantly looking for new people. So definitely get in contact with him if you know your music style fits that. Absolutely. Fits the yeah. game, so. I, I even told him just to shoot us an email. It's down in the description and we can forward that kind of stuff on to him as well. Yeah. Um, just because we do talk to him. So yeah, yeah. definitely an so, easy way to get a hold of him. So the wasteland says, basically it talks a little bit about this. It says far outside the city walls, a desolate land exists, a land where your badge means nothing, a land filled with wreckage of the old world where scavengers and protein farmers make their own rules. Only the bravest souls will want to venture out into the wastes. Are you going, are you one of those brave souls? So I think that'll be cool to that get is. out uh, outside of the main story, you know what I mean? Of where the game takes place and get outside into the world where things are going to be even crazier than they are inside yep. the main story world. But yeah, I, uh, I can't wait. So can't wait to really see all this now. I'm so excited. And I, know. I really, I really hope it's where I hope it is when he releases this demo for people, just because I know what we've seen and I'm so excited for everybody to see it visually. Yeah. It's just so good. Yeah, it is going to be awesome. And the next so one, good. if they can hit the next one is going to be the cyber wolf companion. Uh, this is an image yeah. of it there. You can see the eyes glowing, uh, yeah. which is going to be awesome. So the, for the cyber wolf, it says enter the cyber wolf, a, a faithful and fully upgradable companion Befriend him in the streets of New Kowloon, and he'll never leave your side. With a few upgrades provided by Jade, he'll take the commands and become a force to be reckoned with. So, so that cool. would be pretty. This should help in the wastelands too. So, <laughs> Cyber Wolf yeah. Companion should help in the wasteland. So, that's awesome. Yeah, It'd be really cool if cool his stuff. legs like went out horizontal and he turned into a drone. Like blades <laughs> came out and took off. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I really I mean, want to write gonna... stuff for games, man. Yeah, I really do. It'd be so much fun. <laughs> he actually, I think, I don't know if he still is, but he was really hoping to find somebody who's a really good writer. And I know we talked about that in our interview yeah. with him. Um, do you do want to catch up on that? But it's it, yeah, I know he's looking for a good solid gameplay writer. And that's, um, I mean, a lot of the stuff is based hard. on how the Kickstarter does too. You know, the funding yep. of the Kickstarter, cause all that money is going Absolutely. towards, you know, like he talked about the main world, a lot of that has been built, but the storyline and all of that, sure. all of that still is what he's working on, you know? So the, the more money it can raise, the better it can do. So, so definitely consider funding the Kickstarter, backing the Kickstarter. The link is in there. We have definitely backed it. And 
so looking forward to this game so yeah, and we're not we're not pushing products we're not trying to we literally just recommend yeah. what we are passionate and love yeah um, i just want people to, to back it so that i get to experience more of lo-fi you know the, the more it gets well, back sure. the better it's going to yeah. be that's really why you know Absolutely, we're we're all about it. So here are some of the goals and yeah, yeah. the, uh, so the cyber wolf companion is 75,000. The next one is 90,000 and a hundred thousand. And those are hidden. So once I believe once the cyber wolf companion gets funded, the next one will pop up and we'll know what it is. So yeah, yeah we don't He's have a whole lot more time. Yeah. I hope he should make that. He should make it, but so we have 11 days to go. There's 11 days to go left on lo-fi. So yep. hopefully, That's awesome. yeah, there's hopefully. always a surge right at the end of people debating it and stuff. And, Especially once people see the demo, I'm sure it'll it'll gain a bunch of hype and and really yeah. get funded. Then at that point, yep. it's just yeah, it's so cool. I'm so excited for it. Yeah, me too. Can't believe we're this close to it now. I feel like it's just been a pro. Like we've seen it through the progressions of. I mean, really, what we were in it when you could just get in the ship, right? Uh, you couldn't even get off anywhere. No, you could, could get off. There was just a couple yeah. spots though. Yeah, there. I mean, that was springtime, I believe, right? Yeah. I mean, that sure. was yeah, pretty wow, early this at year. Least. So. Yeah, it had to have been. Yeah, so yeah. it's been a while. So the no, another Kickstarter we want to talk about was Panther VR. And we'll play yep. this trailer real quick. Maybe. We have audio. All right, gentlemen, we have yeah. a new mission. We need to locate a virus in the most secure lab so far. It's not going to be easy, but I'm sure our agent can handle it. The virus is contained in a highly secured location. Security is at its maximum level. Find a way inside, take care of the guards, and extract the virus. The plan, it's up to you. Good luck, Agent. I'm eager to see you in action. I just like the ending, the last scene where you see him jumping down on that guy. Yeah. I, I kept trying to determine if it was knives or screwdrivers. And I, I think, think it's screwdrivers. It's screwdrivers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it is, which is that's pretty awesome. cool. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. But yeah, I like the other one I like too is the uh, like the augmented like you, you're holding a screen that's controlling like a drone or something yeah something i'm not sure maybe an that's RC really car, cool like yeah. to hold something in there that like controlling something in some like uh it's so like uh like deep like you know you're in a headset and you're looking at something else controlling something so, else like so you're looking so at a screen steps. looking at a screen right. <laughs> you know what i mean like like the inception is real yeah man. Like, yeah it's <laughs> crazy how I when i look at stuff like that <laughs> <laughs> for real so this is uh the previous games they they have put out was sky world and dungeon night and i looked both those up on steam and they both have overall positive reviews so which is yep. a really good sign you know in a kickstarter that somebody has produced something before it's not you know their first time yeah. you, you know you know that they're at least capable of producing a game you know if with some kickstarters you just don't know some kickstarters sure. can be a little bit sketchy but yeah, it looks pretty polished already. If it that's does, their, yeah. You know, kickstart video, that's pretty polished at this point. So that means then from here further, they're only working to improve it, which is really cool. Right. Yeah, it looks, I mean, from the video I mean. and the screenshots and stuff, you know, it looks like it has I a ton know. of potential and it could be really awesome. The only thing I can say that I'm a little bit disappointed about is that it's not going to be, it's just going to be a single player. Uh, they did right. say, so... They did say currently Panther VR is for single player only. There is a possibility that the game will have local co-op mode with hack support mode. And that's part of, that's a stretch goal. So that will be local co-op though. Local co-op is tough though. I mean, who really has two VR setups, you know, to play locally? Well, I don't know if they mean like local like that or local as in somebody on a cell phone doing something. You know what I mean? Like, oh, maybe. Like I'm not, I'm not PC, sure. Yeah, I don't have any more info on it other than that's that. That's true. And hopefully we right. will get some more info what their actual plans are. But uh, like a lot of these stealth games are coming out right now, and I'm really excited about them. I think stealth is an awesome aspect in VR, but the only bad thing that is a lot of them aren't co-op or multiplayer. And to me, being able to work as a team in a stealth game in right. co-op would be epic you know what i mean like to be able to sure. have you know a walkie talkie or something where you can communicate with each other you know have two breach points or something like that uh, you know no, and, no. and like one guy you know you could take a, a spent magazine 
toss it somewhere to create a distraction, oh, yeah. you know, where they, they look that way, you know, I sneak up from behind, you know, that just to me sure. adds gameplay value to no ends to it me. It just gives your game like dynamic that it wouldn't have on its own. You right. know what I mean? Because you're creating your own story then inside of that, like that's different every time. So I just feel like everything VR needs to be yeah. multiplayer and whether it just be casual or anything but yeah. it just helps you know? even i mean talking about that reminds me of payday you know and some of the sure. missions in payday like the one where we were on the boat oh, i man, mean we yeah. had to work together and a lot of that was stealth yeah. in that game in that mission at least because there were guards and stuff that you either wanted to not have see you or you wanted to take out silently and then you had to yep. hide their body because you didn't want one of the other guards so i mean that just it's just and it would be played so much different single player compared to like when you and i played together right just a totally different game yep. you know i just i know i feel like every game needs to have some form of it and i get you know some aren't meant to yeah but, some some make sense too. not to but like a game sure. like this i mean it, I, i'm excited about it either way i think it's gonna be an awesome game to play in single player but yep. i do wish it had the co-op or the the multiplayer aspect i think that definitely to me adds a lot of value not everybody not everybody likes to play multiplayer and i understand that but right i know so, um, what? So, now what? Azrael the dev said, I just have to say, I love the thumbnail for this stream. <laughs> Which, I, I it was kind of it. over the top ridiculous just to be funny. We just like to have fun, but it, we, we, we kind of enjoyed like it when too. When we're playing like VR yeah, multiplayers yeah. too. <laughs> Basically, every time we play together, that's yeah, what I feel like. It's pretty awesome. But... I know, it's kind of crazy. But this is another so Kickstarter. Speaking, so, speaking of multiplayer, um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, I told you I was kind of, I knew a little bit. I don't, I don't know a ton of what I wasn't going to even tell you. Yeah. You haven't even told to me what you're talking about. I don't even know what you're talking about. Sure. So uh, the game, you probably haven't heard of it though. Um, it's called contractors. Have mm -hmm. you heard of that? No, no, hmm. Never no played probably that. not. Right. <laughs> so, so they are hoping to, and I want to get this right here. They are hoping to have a quest build a beta build released by the end of this month. Really? Yes. So we talked about the that's, quest build a little bit last uh, episode. Yep. And that's where they're at with it. So, I mean, end of the month, I mean, we are there. I mean, we're close. Yeah, you we're know? close. So is that yeah, going to be so, like a, uh, a side loaded build kind of like how Pavlov is doing? Do you know? It may being that it's a beta, I would assume he hasn't said that. Yeah. But and I don't think I would Oculus assume is that that's what it is. Yeah. I don't think there's any way to put a beta on the quest without doing it that way. Yeah. Um, but I mean, oh man, this is real. This is happening. I mean, that's a, hmm. I mean, I know we have Pavlov and stuff, you know, working on it too, but yeah, I mean, contractors, if the visuals, and I know we saw some of it and we kind of nitpicked it apart last show, I think it was, but man, whoo, the gameplay on that. Yeah. I'm still just hoping for the, uh, the headshot fix is what I'm still hoping for. Oh yeah. What's the sniper rifle? Is yeah, that what you're talking about? The sniper. yeah. Some yep. people love, some people like the game just for that aspect. They like to play with a sniper rifle, but they use it as a pistol. Cause the problem with it right now is that, you know, a body shot with a sniper rifle is one shot kill. So people run around and use it. Headshot. Yeah. It needs to be two shots to the body or one shot to the head or, or some kind yep. of, you know, equation like that. But, but yeah, hopefully they fix that. I don't know if they have, but like I said, some people love the game just for that because they love to play it that way, but it can be a little frustrating when, you know, you get pistoled with a, in the, I get it. in the body. I feel like and die, that but... game could be such like a good esport like competitive game. I really do. Yeah, for sure. I feel like it's perfect. The speed yeah. of it, the lengths of the matches, the amount of people, um, yeah, it's which actually I was kind of hoping to, I don't even think I got to tell you about this because of how busy I've been. Um, I really wanted today, actually right now, uh, there's a college pretty close to me and I got invited to go to their grand opening of their esport building. Uh, and I, w I really wanted to go watch it and stuff. They actually have their first match against another college. It's actually happening right now. Huh. Um, so I wasn't going to be able to make it. Yeah. Um, I couldn't awesome. bail on you guys to go to it. But I really wanted to go see, you know, what it was all about. So I'll have to get in there and check it out. So yeah. I did get invited to go in there. So I, I, I will mean, get in there and check it out. Esports is huge. Point. And I mean, that's kind of like the, I mean, that's almost like, oh, yeah. I mean, they're making pro football player money sometimes you know what i mean these people oh, are making absolutely. you know kids making huge money so i mean with the way esport and even vr i mean it just completely changes the game of you know gaming for a living because yep. i don't know it just seems so much more intense but i mean 
you know, there's no such thing anymore as playing a video game is, is pointless to a, a degree. You know what I mean? Because there's right. people that make legitimate careers off of this stuff and there's tons of sponsors. money that, yeah. I mean, it's just, there's it's a huge thing. College now. Yeah. yeah. And people love to watch. I mean, just look at the streaming community. People love to watch people play games that are really Here's good. You know, thing. How much better would it be to watch all these esports if they were playing physically in VR? Now you see them sit there and they're just, you know, sitting yeah. at their controller right. looking at a monitor. If they were in VR and they could have that little screen set up too, yeah. it would be so good. It really yeah, would. Yeah, we need to get the uh, we need to get esports in VR to where they have a cool setup of some kind of mixed reality where you can actually be yep. watching them in VR. You know, watching them on they your quest. Right you know what I mean? Yep. And just I mean, there, there's the future is definitely bright. I think for the esports stuff, it's not going anywhere and it's only going to get bigger. I mean, I know esports Super Bowl is going to be a thing at some point in time. You know, yeah, it's, and it's you would crazy. get to go watch it in VR standing there like you could literally be in watching them while they play too if you had your own vr set up like how cool would that be yeah that's pretty it's pretty awesome that's pretty cool it's so good i know pretty cool stuff but right? yeah I, I do want to get out there and check it out i'd love to give them even a a trial of vr because actually some of those people probably haven't tried vr no, i mean yeah. it's still not that mass adopted yet so no, for sure so that would be really fun, you know, set yeah. it all up and give them a little tech demo and stuff. Maybe shoot some video. It'd be awesome. Yeah, but that'd yeah. be really cool. It'd be a lot of fun. For sure. But yeah, I'm excited for contractors to come to Quest, so that would be epic. I know. And, I mean, How just awesome the, would that be? Yeah, playing Pavlov and stuff on the Quest, I mean, I just love that wireless aspect. I know I've said this before, but it just totally changes the game. It totally changes how I play. I mean, it's yep. just so much, it's just a very freeing experience. So especially if we can get the PC streaming stuff down on the yeah. Quest, that would be awesome because, you know, the as long as they can you know, push PC quality stuff to the, sure. the headset. I mean, man, that would be just insane. So, so if Oculus does come up with this PC streaming setup, do you think people are going to bail on quest development that are trying to push their games? You know what I mean? Because now there's so. not as much of a drive for it, but I guess not because yeah. the market I don't for think people so. buying a quest. Yeah. Still don't have the money maybe. Yeah, for Cause you still have to have a gaming PC to be able to do that. Right. And the big push for the quest is that a lot of people don't have that. And if you look at what's been sure. going on, you know, quest sales, are through the roof, you know, for game developers, you know, there's a lot of developers that are making more money on their quest port than they did, you know, period over the past, sure. you know, however long, like, so I don't, think that's, yeah. I don't think that's, I don't think that's going to happen. I, Probably I mean, not. I think, but I think as a whole though, it would help, you know, the, the PC developer as well, because, you know, that, that might push some quest people to get a PC and start sure, running, like, you know, PC games and stuff like that. So it should help the, you know, I'm sure they're going to, if they do something like this, they're going to try to limit it to the Oculus store, I would think. But, you know, that's still going to help sales, I would think, for yeah, developers. That's, that's a good point. Like, what if you buy, let's say you buy contractors on the quest, right? But then you want those higher visuals in it. The only way to do that then would to be buy a PC and then play it, you know, play it on the PC and buy the PC version if it's not, you know, cross, cross by. But yeah, yeah, I mean, so it, yeah, it would be a good thing to be yeah. on both or you know. And I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of games that are on PC that aren't on the Quest, so there's going to be true, you know, a lot of people that if they go that route and they buy the PC, then they're going to be a lot more sales for. You know, that's just one more headset that can buy from the Oculus Store a game that's not on the Quest. Yeah, so sure, yeah, I don't know, I know. yeah, be awesome contractors man Woo. yeah it's pretty awesome good, good stuff. stuff i just can't wait i yeah, really can't. I can't either i know the only thing that's going to kill me though is the battery life of the quest because we play contractors yeah. for but i mean there's hours. options for that I mean, you know with the the, there is. the packs you know battery packs and stuff like that yep. so i could slip one in my back pocket or something if yeah. i need to I mean, now there's... i have that real little one in the quest case that thing's tiny and it's a yeah. 10,000 million. Yeah. I mean, you so. can zip tie that to the back. I mean, a lot of people do use counterweights, you know, and that's a, uh, so, I mean, there's, there's options for that. We are at least, at least we're not limited to the two hours of the cosmos controllers, which could be true. So, and, that's uh, crazy. talking about that, I did see a tweet from Anton hand that said that it, he, he believes it's not true, but you know, HTC isn't coming out and saying that it's not true yet. I don't He's like, I don't know why they're not saying anything about it or whatever, but it's hard to say right. exactly. I don't know. I mean, we should find out for sure. If they don't say anything, we should find out for sure. You know, once they get released, um, everybody will be testing sure. that for sure. So yeah. Yeah. J Jason, the developer from drop in and day to night, which I want to get back into day to night. I need to see where he's at with that too. But, um, he was saying that people push quest because the install base is huge. You know, like there's just so many people that will be buying it or yeah. buying it even currently. And I totally get that. I mean, the market's going to drive where, what you're developing for, you know, where there's a demand. So right. I totally get it. Um, my thing is, if you find a quest right now, I would buy it. Hold I saw on to one. it till about Christmas time. 
yeah. and sell it. Because, yeah, I saw they had oh, one man. on the shelf at the Best Buy I was at the other day. Did they really? Yeah, I actually haven't have seen one. one. I check yeah. every time I go in there. I know, normally they don't, but they did have one on there. Oh, so, man. uh gaming science teacher said the Rift doesn't have a Wi-Fi receiver in it, though. You need an adapter attached to the HMD. So we talked a little bit about this last week, I think, but one of the rumors was that they were going to do for the Quest a uh, – some kind of an adapter that goes onto the quest that will actually stream PC VR games to it officially from Oculus. That's one of the speculations well, for, OC6. I don't think it would go on the quest. It would just be adapter for the PC to receive direct Wi-Fi. That's what I think. Right. Right. But, I mean, but some but, kind of, yeah. that's the speculation is some kind of adapter, yeah. some kind of official wireless streaming to the quest from the PC yep. from Oculus. Like, like I said, it's speculation, but that that's we what we talked a lot about it. Yeah. We talked about it last week. Yeah. yeah. So it's, I've just, I hope. I'm yeah, hoping. for sure. I know. And uh, yep. so Batman at Arkham VR actually just surprisingly got index oh, support yeah. out of index. nowhere. Yeah, Not yeah, expected right. at all, yeah, you know, which is pretty cool. cool. So I haven't been in this. I actually own this on the Oculus store, I believe. I don't own it on Steam. But pretty cool to check out. Supposedly, it has the finger tracking in there and everything now. And it was a good I game. I mean, it, it wasn't a long game or a lengthy game or anything, but it was pretty quality, especially, you know, it's been out for a while. It was It was pretty cool. I don't even have it. I just, I, I, I haven't got to play. I wish I, I really wish I had it. Yeah. Really. Well, you can have this code. Just kidding. You can't have this code. Somebody can have this code, but you can't have it. <laughs> <laughs> this is thanks to uh, no, Fluke right. Rogi sent over this code to give away today. So this is a Steam code for Batman Arkham VR. So. Yep, which is awesome. Which you don't have to have the index controllers yeah. for. It's just a regular uh, Steam. But if yeah. you do have the index controllers, then you get to check it out on the index controllers and see how that works. So. See, that controller's not broke. Yeah, not yet. But do, but does the thumbstick click? <laughs> Horrible, <laughs> Can't tell yeah. from the picture. <laughs> I don't care. I still I still really do love them. I still miss the ergonomics of the touch, but but yeah. it's, I still like it. Yeah, I do like I the yeah I still love the touch controllers. I mean, they're I know. Yeah, I don't know. I know with the Mamut grips. Ooh, yeah, so good. They are really so good. good. I my do favorite. love those grips. I know. Sure. Well, I need hopefully to get somebody back. got that code. I'm gonna quest. pop this down. I'm sure somebody got it by now. Yeah, so. they did. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, let us know who got it too. We're always curious to see who got yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. I, I wonder some... if anybody tries these codes after the fact that aren't watching it live. Like if somebody didn't actually get it live. I mean, I had doubt that. I mean, I guess you never happens, know, but yeah, yeah somebody got it. Yeah. Yeah, a bunch of people in here anyway. <laughs> so I'm sure someone <laughs> oh, got Chatty it. Chatty got it. Said redeem. Yep. Thank you. So that was thanks to Fluke Rogi. That was awesome. He sent that over. Yep. So that is. That's awesome. Uh, let's get into a little bit of deep diving VR. So oh, yeah. this is one we talked about a couple episodes ago that we saw on Steam, and this is out now. And uh, I did get inside of this. We'll play a little video. Whoops. We'll give that up. So we do have a tra- uh, Steam key to give away. I hit the wrong button, but we do have a Steam key to give away for this game. You're just giving stuff out like candy. Yep, man. giving Come stuff on. away like candy. That's what we like to do. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I did get inside of this game, and, and honestly, one of the first things that struck me was just how beautiful the underwater world was. I mean, it really looked good. And you also have like a, a flashlight option on your head. So in this scene, uh, the flashlight is on, which really brightens up the world because there are some darker scenes down under the water. Uh, it didn't but create shadows. I guess I didn't even notice that. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it ran really smooth. It smooth. It played really good. The only issue I had was just learning the swimming aspect where, yeah. you know, it, it, if you swim real hard, cause it's all based off your hand movements to move around in the world. So a lot of times you see the red popping up where I'm actually swimming too hard into objects where it actually sure. like hurts me a little bit. So it takes a while to get used to the, uh, the controls of, you know, lightly moving your arms. If you don't want to go fast through the water when you're close to something, but yep. it's a ton of exploration. There's like little missions and things that you're supposed to find. And then there's a lot of things like this that are just randomly throughout where you find. And I've only been, I think through the first level or whatever, there's a bunch of different levels, a bunch of different locations that you can swim. And there's a lot of stuff to find. You get a gun at one aspect to, you know, fend, oh, yeah. fend off some scarier creatures and also to help. So like you'll, you'll get a scanner and you can scan the water and it'll show you where, you know, maybe fish are injured. There was a spot where there was a net in the water and there was a bunch of fish trapped under the net and you could free those fish and all that stuff. So there's a lot of aspects to this other than just the, the, the Sorry. gorgeous visuals you know of what know. you see in the animals well, that's what i was stuff. just gonna say it's even got the light reflections down on on the bottom there which is real i mean that's legit how it looks like on a sunny day so that's yeah. really cool i mean it, i was really blown away with how good it really looked i mean it was really yeah. a very very good looking game and hopefully somebody did get that key it is available on steam so you can yep. you can get this now 
it and it is in the description if you just want to check it out too so yeah, if you the got link it is in there. you want to see what it looks like yeah. yeah i mean there's like manatees floating around and i mean i'm sure there's a ton of wildlife in the water that i haven't seen yet you know isn't because, there shipwrecks too i think yeah there's shipwrecks to explore yeah, i mean there's seriously cool. tons of stuff that i haven't uh got to i didn't really stab him i I just pretended i didn't really try to stab him (laughs) (laughs) i just pretended like i was going to (laughs) i know i'm sorry it's awesome (laughs) it is cool i mean it does it looks really good yeah i was i was very impressed i was very impressed with the and and and, you know the underwater the zero g aspect of vr is another one of those things that can be yeah you know pretty magical and the the movement system of this really is good once you get the hang of it It (laughs) it does take a little while to really get the hang of it to where you know, you can comfortably move around with not swimming too fast or going sure. past something, you know, just like in, in the real world, learning I'm sure. Curve. Yeah, yeah, there's I mean, always a learning curve with stuff. Yeah, I mean, so, but it, it wasn't hard to, to start to pick up after a while, sure. but, you know, it was pretty awesome. Yeah, there you go. So That's this is sweet. the gun where actually will heal, it'll help heal the fish, or you can, like, you can switch the modes where you slide your hand on the back Kinda of it. Kind of like No Man's Sky. Yeah, it'll get, thing. it'll come to like a defensive gun instead of like a, a gun to help stuff out, but. Yeah, I was yeah, really impressed. Awesome. It was it was a really cool game. I'm definitely going to play this some more. Games like that are nice too because you just kind of get lost in them. Like yeah. you're not like you're not stressed about doing something. You know, you're not like hurrying to do something. So it's more relaxing and enjoyable to like experience. You know what I mean? Right. It's kind of a mixed game slash experience, which is yeah, nice. it is in this sense is a relaxing game, you know, but it does get yeah. pretty intense too later on down sure. the road depending on what's happening. But it is just a chill out game, you know that. Yep. You know, and the movement style is really cool. I mean, it's really neat to be able to actually swim and not use the sticks and stuff. It is pretty yeah. cool. So, yeah, that's really cool. And then you have to Just shoot looking. this open. I, I couldn't figure it out at first. I was trying to, because I had to switch it to where it'll actually shoot the, uh, the mode. Yeah. yeah. The red. Yep. yep. Where it actually yeah, opens cool. up. So the exploration aspect is really cool too. I mean, there's so much stuff to explore and check out. And I think, uh, Paradise Decay did a video on this as well, which, you know, he does videos on almost everything, but definitely his, check out his video too yeah he does some really he does a lot of gameplay videos i don't know how crazy. he keeps up i don't know i, I mean know. there's so many games i, know, I can't seriously. keep up with playing them all i really i mean i would love to i just can't i mean there's just so much stuff to play and so much stuff that comes out all the time that it's pretty crazy so i don't know if anybody got this code yet somebody did yeah somebody yeah. got it because it's been redeemed we do know that we don't know who though okay but yeah pretty actually cool. i was just looking gaming science teacher said she got the head strap padding for the quest Oh yeah, yeah, that is um, out. Well, now. it's coming. Supposedly, be here Monday is what she said. So that's nice. cool. Yeah, yeah, you're really gonna like that. Yeah, I know make she sure said you something. Make it longer at the top. Get it down more on the back of your head. That yeah. really helps. I think she said something about, and it might have been in the chat last time or somewhere that she was saying that she has like a little bit of a smaller head. So she right. thought that would really help, and I do too. I don't have a very large head, so for me, it was it definitely an improvement. It definitely did feel a little bit more comfortable. And they also, also make one for the deluxe audio strap. They've had that out for a while where you can add that back padding. And I'm curious to get one of those too. I wouldn't mind picking one of those up for the deluxe audio strap and trying that out. Yeah. But you say the deluxe audio strap is pretty comfortable as it is. Though, it right? is. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. if you can make it even more comfortable, why sure. not? <laughs> you know yeah. I mean, well, I'd still I totally like to check that. it out, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, the deluxe audio strap is still, yeah, it's still my, my number one, yeah. but but yeah, it's definitely an improvement. And I love the thin cover too. If you can pick up the thin VR cover as well, that definitely helps get that field With of view just a trail. little bit bigger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for so. sure. Good stuff. So yeah, this game is a lot of fun though. So definitely uh, check Paradise that out. Paradise Decay said video a day to keep the pancake doctors away. <laughs> <laughs> he does, man. He plays a lot of stuff. Awesome. He, I, he does stuff. too. I know. It's crazy. Yeah, it is awesome. So there that's you can nice. kind of see the scanning feature where it kind of scans it and then you see that fish that's, you know, infected yep. or whatever and you can heal them, cool. which is pretty cool. The water looks so good though. It's just, it's amazing. I mean, it really is. I mean, they need to put this kind of, this kind of like at theme parks, like sea world, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. Sure, sure. You know, yeah. I feel like this would be good as a, you know, an experience that people could do, you know, put a headset on them and let them swim around, you know, like when you go under right. the water stuff where you see all the, the fish and the sharks and all that stuff, you know, put them in something like this. I think it'd be, pretty cool pretty cool experience that would be wouldn't it be cool if they had like if a place like an aquarium right and you're looking in the fish tank and back inside of the fish tank they had a 360 camera that was just linked to a vr headset and you could like just put it on and then look uh, around inside the aquarium how cool would that be that would be pretty Ooh. cool actually yeah because i mean That'd even my cool. uh views xr you can get a waterproof case for it which i wouldn't mind sure. doing i wouldn't mind picking one of those up so, be awesome pretty cool oh, yeah <laughs> 
Definitely. Yeah. Oh, where am I at here? Now I'm lost. We get so sidetracked. <laughs> so it's so bad. You got into uh, something on the go, actually. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> you right. You forgot so, for a second. Well, yeah. <laughs> so we get so off topic. So I actually didn't think, I didn't know what I was going to think about this, right? So it's called uh, Liver, yep. if I'm not mistaken, right? That's the right pronunciation for it. And it is. It's on the go. And what it is, it's a set of... It's 360. It's a collection of like 360 movies. Um, I want to call them movies. I don't. I don't really know like a good definition for it, but they're like small theater performances. And I do enjoy a lot of theater stuff if it's the right context you right. Know, that I enjoy. Um, and the first one I watched, it was kind of yeah, it didn't really grab me. But I thought, oh, it's pretty cool. It's you know, it's a really good uh, 360 camera and stuff set up right in the front of the stage. And it's a small stage setup. And I think most of them are shot over in the UK, if I'm not mistaken, just because I, that's where the company is located. Uh, but the second one I watched, I'm like, okay, I'll go into this one, check this one out, go into this one, check it out. I went into it and I think I was home by myself. My wife was out with a friend and I was in there for a good hour or so watching this one performance and I couldn't stop watching it. It was crazy. <sighs> and it drew me in like so well that I'm like, wow, like I just I really fell in love with it without trying or thinking I was going to, which that was the cool part. Yeah. It really surprised me. Um, but man, it was just it's so cool to watch. So well done. Wherever this theater is, their performances are amazing. Um, I think the one I watched was an hour and 45 minutes and I mean, the lines that they memorize even for these were amazing. Right. Um, and I don't have any clips of it to show you. Just I do have I, the trailer. I, I really don't. I can't. I couldn't record what I watched, so yeah. I wish I could. Even and this show was on the go. I mean, you can. Yes. This is on the go. Gear VR, like any kind yep. of mobile. Uh, it's not on Quest. I don't know if it is coming to Quest or if they plan to try to get it thing. on Quest. Yeah. And it, it's basically, as far as I understand, it's like a subscription service where I think it's yep. five ninety nine to subscribe to this. Then you get the plays and all that stuff and. I do but, oh, have... man, even if you just want to sit and watch something, it's so good. Like, even if it just, I mean, you rent a movie on TV and it's that, you know what right. I mean? It's so cool, though. I wish it was on Quest, because I actually don't have my Go anymore. I actually got rid of my Go, so I couldn't check this right. out, but... It's so cool, though. I mean, it really is... is. I mean, well done. Yeah. I mean, the sound, the audio on it's really good. Yeah, they showed a clip of the one, a little bit of it, of the one I actually watched. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it was really cool because it was like a, the colors in it were amazing. So it was kind of about this couple. I'm just going to get into it quick. I, <laughs> I told my wife about it, too. Cause, and she's like, really? Like, it was that great? And I'm like, yeah, like, you need to watch it. Because she likes mystery kind of stuff. Yeah. So this one was about a couple that kind of found a new love with each other when they killed an animal on accident. Yeah, it's totally crazy. It's like a murder like type thing. Huh. Um, and the room was all white that it was staged in and everything. And the only thing that had color was like a butcher block on the table that was red. So it really popped, you know, and it was really cool visually and everything, too. And it was just crazy. I won't tell you because if you do watch it and stuff. Um, but, yeah, they kind of found a new love for each other when they accidentally killed something. And then that kind of evolved and then it changed everything. So really cool. Yeah. I mean, just. And it's, it's kind of run like reading a book. So like if you like reading books or stuff like that, or even really just like Space Mountain movies, it kind of fits that genre. Um, they run it ran like chapters, at least the one I watched. Really, really cool. I just, yeah. I have to get back in and huh. finish it. So yeah. It was now I really wanted crazy. to come on the quest so I can check this out. Right? So. I know the quest. Yeah. Uh, if they got it on the quest. There would be so many people that would yeah. be onto this. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of like the Amaze stuff, you know, where they do the, sure. you know, the, the plays and the skits kind of where it's acted out and you have to kind of choose your path. I mean, that's not really what this no, is, no, but it, that, I but... mean, it's just shows the possibilities of what can be had, you know, and the, the go was meant to be a media consumption device. I mean, that's what yep. it was kind of meant to be, but it, I mean, I feel like that kind of stuff is something my wife would really enjoy too. You know, oh, some of those gosh, kind of plays and stuff. It. It's really cool. Cause I mean, I just... like plays and stuff, but I don't like crowds. So Right. I would prefer to put something like this on and, and take, you know, get to take that kind of stuff in without having to go anywhere and be in a, a huge crowd and all that stuff. But I mean, you're literally sitting like front row, <laughs> like you're in front of the people right up against the yeah. stage. And I don't even mean like a stage. It's like a lot of like the ones I saw were the size of a room or like huh. a large room. 
and you were just right in front of it watching it. Um, it really, really cool. I just, I have to get back in and finish it. It was a lot of, it was a lot of fun to watch. I did not, again, I didn't think I was going to like it. Like, I'm like, I yeah. don't know. I, I've seen stuff like this before. Right. Um, but whatever theater and, and these, these actors and stuff, they're top notch. And so that's is really it what three, it was all 360 then, right? Yeah. So totally not, not 180, like, it was 360. crowd like back behind me into the sides So you can turn around. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Huh. And the audio awesome. was really good too. It was very good. So pretty neat to check so out. You, yeah, it was it was cool. I, I wish you could check it out actually. Maybe yeah, next I time can. you're around. You can, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It was. It was really cool. Right. Yeah. So, do you want to talk about talking about this? Do you want to get into this movie that is coming out? This is a, a new oh, yeah. augmented yeah. reality movie, which is kind of a crazy premise. And it looks awesome. Yeah, it looks pretty interesting. Uh, it's almost something that could actually I could see happening in the future. So oh, yeah. we're not going to play the whole trailer. I think the trailer is in the link. Uh, we're going to play like at the beginning of the trailer just to get an idea of yeah. what the movie is about. But Talk about it at least. We'll but, but oh, man, does it look good. It's it's going to happen, man. This is going to be it right here. <laughs> this will be the future. <laughs> kind of scary. Scary, though. Felix, without you, this company would not be what it is today. I'm really going to miss you around here. We got you a little parting gift to Felix. Welcome to Augie. Augie determines your needs by reading your subconscious brain signals. Simply put the glasses on and say hello. Hey. I wasn't expecting this. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Life's short. Don't waste it. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. So, I mean, it's basically where... He falls in love with this augmented reality woman, which isn't yep. a real person or really there, but you know. Yeah. So I think the basis of it is you see what your subconscious wants you to see, right? right. I mean, that's kind of how I took it. Yeah. Um, it kind of determines crazy it because it, like, yeah, it puts like a wedge in his life and stuff, and yeah. like everyone else is like, it's not real, but he's like, but it's more than real, and you know, it's just yeah, it's kind of crazy, and I get it. I totally. It takes you out of the world that you're in. It really does. Yeah. I mean, and if something, you know, the augmented reality gets that good, you know, we're definitely not there yet by any stretch of the means, but it is kind of a scary future to think about. I mean, this oh. kind of stuff, I mean, yeah. keep going. I mean, even in a uh, lo-fi, uh, that game, he talks about how uh, robot love basically has been outlawed, you know what I mean? So where the, it's illegal sure. in that lo-fi world to have the robot love. But I mean, that is a thing right. that could actually, ha- I mean, people are gonna, I mean, people fall in love with all kinds of weird stuff. I mean, there's, sure. I mean, there's just some weird stuff that goes on, but yeah, I mean, I can totally see it happening. And it is scary. I mean, it starts to wreck his life. You know, he's a married man that's retiring and this was like some kind of prototype gift that he got. And yep. yeah, so it's pretty interesting. It looks like it might be a pretty good movie. It's kind of a cool, kind of a neat premise. So when I first saw it, the uh, the first thing I thought of was when he has he has this box, right? And he opens it. So I just bought a pair of, they're called AR glasses, um, but they're not true AR glasses right. and probably what anybody would think. Uh, I really don't know why they're called that. I do, but I don't. Uh, but it's the same box and everything almost it felt like when <sighs> I got these. So these are, these are made by Bose is who makes them. And they're sunglasses that have headphones built into them. And I talked about them a little yeah, bit before we did talk about where I said that the, the audio should be copied by Oculus and everybody else, and they're great. But when he opened the box and, like, pulled them out, I'm like, oh, man. I'm like, this <laughs> feels like when I put these on for the first time. But what the crazy part is, is it does take you out of where you're at. It's kind of crazy. Like, even these, you know, take me out of yeah. the place I'm in. So I can be listening to music. Nobody has a clue I'm even listening to them. You can't hear them. Yeah. I could have them on blast. Nobody even knows that I'm listening to anything. So you can, compl- and that's just with audio. Yeah. This isn't with video, visuals, nothing. Just imagine and if I, that had that good of visuals in it with that audio. Oh my gosh. Where you could, I mean, yeah, that would just be crazy. I couldn't, and they don't look like anything more than just a pair of sunglasses. Yeah, they're like, a little thick, but when you wear them, you probably can't really you tell don't, that it's, yeah, yeah, you, you don't can't notice. really tell it's thick. Yeah, yeah, but, not at all. Yeah. But the AR part of them is built into the audio so they have apps and experiences and stuff you can do that has spatial audio in it. So it yeah. does copy the spatial audio of like 360 stuff, uh, but that's as far as it goes. Um, so for them to call them actually AR glasses, yeah, I don't know. Weird, I feel like it's a reach. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm a huge audiophile, so anything Bose usually is great in my opinion. Yeah, so. Bose makes but, some good stuff. But it does take you out, and that was my whole point of it, Yeah. is it takes you out of the world you're in. And this movie 
is really an example of that and what could and probably will happen. It's just, it's crazy, you know, where, where we're headed. Now this could be 20 years from now, you know, but I mean, maybe when we're at the point of retiring, we'll be buying some glasses like this. This yeah, could be us, knows, you know? That could be, so. yeah, could be a scary world. But uh, so what uh, our grandma said, all my relationships were projected. <laughs> <laughs> right i know <laughs> uh, yeah it is kind of Great. a scary thought but i mean it looks like a good movie it looks like it could be yeah. something pretty cool to watch so and I speaking know. of some ar stuff this was tweeted so this is from in real they tweeted who else will be in san jose for oc6 next week we have prepared something very exciting for everyone stay tuned for more updates so that'll be pretty interesting to see i don't know is there some kind of oculus partnership or you know That's what right. are they what I are they doing at oc6 is- Right, because why would they be at OC6? That's yeah. what I don't get. And why would they have something very exciting for everyone? I feel like this is the only interesting piece of information we've actually got about OC6 that's even like, it's like my almost sort of a leak kind of thing. It's not really, yeah. I mean, obviously, it's intentional, well, but it is intentional, but more the backing behind it. Because why are they a part of OC6? What do they have to do with Oculus that they're invited to that? You know, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm interested too. I don't. I don't know if Maybe they're Oculus opening their bought them out or something. I don't or something. Know. Maybe they're going to try and pull a, a whole Steam store thing and broaden. I don't. I don't know. It's yeah, interesting. I don't know. I mean, Oculus did do some stuff with Open XR and all that stuff recently yeah. that people have been talking about. I have no idea. I don't know. It's it'll be interesting to see. I don't know if anybody in chat knows anything more about this or have looked into more of this than we have. But definitely, if right. you know anything more than we do or speculation, even just share it with us. We're curious to see what people's thoughts are around what this could mean or what this could be. I don't know. I don't know either. I'm excited for it though. But that's that literally is, I think, the only thing out of OC6 that. I feel like could be something bigger. Yeah. I really do. No, no. More I than hope, just, spe- more than just a hundred percent speculation, I guess. Well, sure. <laughs> there's a, there's but plenty of is, stuff that could be big. Yeah. That's what going. I mean. So yeah. That's what I mean. It's a little bit more than a hundred, you know, a little bit less than a hundred percent speculation, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. And, uh, just because I see this here now, I wanted to touch on this. We talked about this a little bit. This is from the tested video, but this was the uh, headphones on the Cosmos and basically just showing the clip-on design. And my thought was if they sell these headphones for whatever reason, you know, replacements or whatever it might be, you know, the the aspect of putting them on the Rift S, you know, that they should fit on that as long as the headband is a similar size, you know, it'd be a pretty cool addition to throw onto the Rift sure. S. I mean, they could, sure. I mean, they might as well sell them separate. Look how much money they've made from the deluxe audio strap lately. They might as well capitalize it on it if they can, you know. I know. So. No one else is doing it except for the Bionics. But they're not even made for it. I mean, they're made for the PSVR. Right. So, I mean, nobody's sure. really doing a whole lot with it yet so yeah some, somebody yeah. needs to so yeah. gaming science teacher said that they're having their own event at oc6 is what i'm assuming huh. um which i'm sure they could be but still why would they be going yeah, still interesting know. or why yeah, would they even weird. have their own event there so there has to be some type of tie i would think so because be i mean we know oculus has been working on some type of ar stuff we don't know at what but i mean I, right. if if they're going to be a competitor to oculus why would Oculus invite them to, you right. know what I mean? Like, why would they have yeah. a booth or whatever there if they're going to be a competitor down the road? That doesn't make sense. Maybe, so, yeah. you know, like Lenovo or something, you know? Yeah, I mean, it yeah. could be. We have seen a so partnership we'll see. with Lenovo, right. so that could be Yeah, they're something. not afraid to partner now. And they got the money. Like, so. I mean, they can, you know. Sure they do. Yeah, yeah. So it's hard to say. That'll be interesting, though. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Jim Hall said most audiophiles are not a fan of Bose. I said, yeah, I get that. I, it's not yeah. the super high-end stuff. It's more the convenience factor for me. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, Bose makes excellent sounding stuff. I mean, it's not in a I don't small feel like form factor. They, they don't make what they used to. I'll put it that Probably way. Probably not. Yeah. Um, now it's more for like mass market stuff to where back in the day they had like the top, you know, notch surround sound type stuff to where now I feel like they just push stuff out mass market, though it's still uh, quality. And for me, it's convenience. So okay. for wireless, right. I throw one in the car and stuff. So, so gaming science teacher said, no, I mean, not OC6, something else called Dimension X. So i guess they're just saying that they're oh. going to be in the area at another convention i guess maybe that's what it is so maybe there's not a direct tie-in maybe i don't know interesting yeah i'm not sure if that's curious the, to yeah. See, yeah so hmm. i guess we'll find out i mean all these questions are going to be answered very very soon maybe so. they're trying to start their own big electronics convention by you know lining up all these different people and stuff who knows i have no idea I we'll, don't know. we'll find out yeah 
That's Crazy. all I know. <laughs> I know. Really weird, yeah. Pretty cool, though. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. So, Ultraverse. I was kind of talking to you about this the other day. Yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> it's <laughs> it definitely is. a little different. I know. Let me see. Uh, it is kind of crazy. Here it is on the Steam store. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so they're kind of running it like a, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you were describing it as like Metaverse. Yeah, I mean, that's what it seems like they're trying to build. It. And even the name, yeah. Ultraverse. I mean, they're basically trying to build the metaverse is what it seems like. Uh, It says the Alderverse is a gaming and world building universe hosted by players, allowing for an infinite number of interconnected games and worlds. So they're, I mean, they're building it to be huge, you know, interconnected where almost like the ready player one movie where you can jump from, you know, this world place, uh, yeah. where they're playing these kind of games to this other world where there's different kind of games going on. Yeah. Uh, it says it will feature four game modes, including solo raids, co-op raids, adventures, qu- adventure quests, and battle royale. Yeah. So I if know. done correctly, it could be really cool. I don't know. I know. It's crazy. I don't. We'll see. I mean, if they do it right, I mean, I guess if they're, you know, looks polished enough and it, it works like they're talking about, then it could be big. It yeah. really could. Yeah. I mean, I think VR has kind of been needing a game like this that runs right and runs well. I know there's been some that have tried, but yeah, I don't know if this will be it, know. but if it, if it is, it'd be cool. But it says this title runs in both standard and VR modes. It does not require a VR headset, which I think is a good thing. Yeah. I think that's a great thing. I think that just expands the player base. And I think a lot of games should try that, but yeah, I mean, we'll see. I mean, it looks kind of cool. I don't know. I didn't know what to think about it. I'm just... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't think we have enough real information about it yet to really mm-hmm. know exactly. But, I mean, the, the idea, the premise is cool. You know, the idea of what they're trying to come up with definitely is awesome. It's just if yeah. they can execute it. You know, if they can if they can sure. pull it off, if they can pull it off, it'd be pretty cool. But that was yeah. just something that we came across on Steam that was kind of a little bit interesting, but... Yeah, it's, I mean, I like the big open world stuff. It just has to be, I feel like sometimes stuff can get too big to where you lose the sense of the game. You know, right. it's kind of like a void then at a point. So, yeah. you know, like No Man's Sky, there's always something to do. There's yeah. always markers telling you somewhere to go or something you can, you know, pull up or right. log. So it's... And the biggest, yeah, I, I think the big, the hardest thing to solve with this kind of a game is the player base. Like you have to have a huge player base to be able to pull something like this off because you right. can't jump into these other worlds and there's nobody there to play these games sure. with and to be successful. You know, you have to, it, it, I don't know, it, it's, it's going to be hard to pull something like this off this early, you know, before, but I mean, I guess it does have a flat yeah. version too. So you don't have to have a VR headset, which would help. Right. I mean, but are you going to get the flat gamers in there? Or are you going to get them in there playing this? I don't know. That's going to be the hard. That's going to be the hard part. You just part. have to keep all those worlds and people pushed together, you know, kind of like the the pretense of Battle Royale. You know, that's why it yeah. pushes everyone together because the less people, you have to keep them right. congested or else it just feels like a wide open place, you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's it's hard. And you have it's to start to at a point to where the game isn't too huge. You know, you can't have – you can only have sure. so many worlds and so many games going on, you know, and, and if you can build it, then start to expand, you know, and make it sure. bigger and bigger because, I mean, ultimately the metaverse kind of a thing is pretty, you know, pretty intriguing. And I, oh, think, yeah. I think that is another thing we will see at OC6 is some, you know, better – how do I want to say it? Like better ways of, you know, the Oculus rooms and stuff like that, better ways of right. partnering up with people in VR, getting together in VR. I think they got it. They so, got to start to push know, that out. But that's a hard thing too, because Oculus has now spread themselves through so many different apps, you know, in, inside of Oculus, like they have venues and all the 360, yeah. then they have Facebook 360. And then, you know, there's, there's about seven different applications that they could literally put into one yeah they need to and merge it, would feel it all together. so much more bigger and populated when you go into there instead they have these individual ones which don't feel like much right so i don't know it's yeah. stuff like that they need to congest everybody together at least in the beginning i mean there's no point of having that many i know they want it to be big and stuff but yeah were you reading in chat yeah i was just kind of reading what was going on our, our grambo said what's the blend today that. about the coffee yeah. so i'm actually drinking i don't know a lot of you probably have no idea what this is but it's called wawa which is actually mm. it's like a sheets or something like that 
people and don't know what that is either. That's true, depending on where you're from. But it's basically like yeah, a gas yeah. station with a restaurant, kind of a fast food kind of a place in it. And they have really good coffee. So somebody actually bought us this coffee that is uh, their blend of coffee, like in a, in a home for home use. And uh, that's what I brewed this morning. It's pretty good. So who bought it? Was it a super chat buy? Or it was a, no, it was actually an old I mean, neighbor. Somebody bought it for you. Yeah, it like. was the old neighbor from the neighborhood we moved from. It was our oh, cool. old neighbor that nice. bought it for us after we moved, which is really cool. So, That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Yep, I'm not drinking anything special today. I'm on like a generic coffee. I'm actually trying to buy that uh, the uh, Breville grind control right yeah. now. So, so along with the house. <laughs> yeah, in the new house, I said I have to go there with a good coffee maker. So. For sure. But I have to buy a lot of things. I have to buy a car lift too, and I might have to order that today. So <laughs> it's a scary thing. I've never Amazoned a, a car lift before, so that's yeah, gonna be, be an odd right. thing. But <laughs> it'll be all right. <laughs> Is it next Crazy day? Is it gonna be the get, next yeah, day? Yeah, exactly. Right, two yeah. day or one day? Kind of one day a car lift? That'd yeah, be maybe. Amazing. Amazon's pretty incredible sometimes. So. Uh, and that is crazy. a lot of people were talking about uh, on our Discord, talking about pre-ordering the Cosmos on Amazon because of their return policy. Yeah. So a lot right, of people right. were talking about just pre-ordering it on there so they could try it out and see if it was something they wanted to keep. And, you know, I mean, well, that's. I was talking to you, too, about um, I said, I wonder if Best Buy is going to have it. And you actually checked and you said Best Buy. Yeah, is so you can't or, you can't pre-order through Best Buy. So I tried sure. to uh, I actually wanted to pick it up in store instead of getting it shipped if I do pre-order. And I talked to them because on the website, it wouldn't let you pick it up in store. It only gave the option to ship to home. So I did huh. talk to them and they said for some reason that it's not giving them the option at all to ship it to the store. It's only shipping out, you know, to home address. So, you know, well, if I do pre-order one, I'm not, they, 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 they might they not won't. carry it. In store I don't then. think they will because right. they, they don't typically carry the HTC devices in right. store, like the vibe and stuff. You could buy it on their website, but they didn't have it in store. Like they do the quest and the, the rift sure. and all that. Well, you that, could but. still return it the same way to the store, I would if assume. If you wanted to, yeah. I, feel, I kind of feel bad doing that, though, especially to a company like HTC that's kind of struggling anyways. But So right. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. If I get one, maybe just sell it if I don't want to keep hard. it. Or maybe not pre-order it at all. I don't know because we don't know what's going to come out of OC6. You know, I don't, I don't that's know. That's true. So Everyone's probably holding off till OC6 to make big decisions like that. Yeah, so. I mean, I'm sure a lot of them are, yeah. I get it. So. Maybe I'll be pre-ordering an Xbox Scarlet. Yeah, I don't think the pre-orders will be open yet, though, right? Not yet. Probably not no. till next year, the, the, nope. the E3 or something. But It'd be so good. I need a new Xbox. I need to get back into that. I haven't played any Xbox I games. I don't even have. Do I have? No, I don't. No, I don't have an Xbox anymore. I couldn't remember if I got rid of it or not. But yeah, I sold you don't have one now. No, I sold it. When do I? I've never really? played it. Ever since we got PCs to play yeah. Oculus uh, Rift games, I've never. I never. Uh, we never played it. I know. I, I think we play played like once or twice. And yeah, and Test Drive was pretty yeah. good. Te- I mean, not Test Drive. Uh, Hor- or, uh, Forza Horizon. Forza Horizon yeah. and stuff, yeah. For- Test Drive was yeah. one of the old ones we used to play. Oh, man. <laughs> Test Drive Unlimited. Ooh, yeah, that, was that was so good. good. That was like the first open, like, I don't know. I mean, open half the time we were just thing. looking for places to glitch into. Like, we drove around all over the place just good. trying to find hidden stuff and stuff we could glitch into. It was a ton of fun. But, so good. Yeah. I know. I know. So, um, so we also got. have uh oh that's what i wanted to talk about the uh the article i was showing you about the oh, air yeah. force base about edward uh yeah it was edwards air force base doing some type of training travis, in vr travis air force base i think it was yeah, no it was edwards was it yeah it was edwards air force base out in huh. california um so what they actually did is they're not doing training yet, but they had a company come in and do scans. So they had, I think it was like their cargo planes and maybe some of their hangars and stuff like that. So they're actually doing, Oh, you're right. they did. Yeah. And there you go. There's the, uh, the scans for it. The, um, they're using like a laser scanner for depth, I would assume. And then they're using pictures with for cross reference for images, but they're, doing a lot of work with this they were in there for i think i think it said six hours or something like that um doing scans of all this stuff that they are then going to put into i'm assuming vr yeah it's uh, for training it's for training purposes yeah, for, for just the training, air force right? base yeah so Which i think it was super- for the what was it the emergency ladder system or something like the i don't remember that yeah, it was the c5 is the plane but yeah, yeah i don't remember what it you know they uh yeah but that's i mean that's awesome that they're adopting this now even into their training um 
I just I feel like they should have even been doing this sooner, but yeah, I get it. I feel like military gets stuff like this sooner, but but I guess not. I mean, I guess the, you know our, the tech world is ahead of even what the government is doing uh, for tech wise. At least what they tell us. I, I think that they. I mean, they've been messing with VR stuff and AR stuff for a lot longer than what you know we've had stuff. I think, but you know they they just they're limited to what they talk about for sure. But I just don't think the usability was there. You know the the high enough images and to work yeah. you know up to par. Just the same stuff we're going through with headsets and everything else, and you know the rendering and the scanning of things and it's definitely it's just advancing. It's there, man. Yeah, it is. And oh, I mean, yeah. they've I've even seen articles you know where they've talked about uh, active shooter training where they put like yep. schools and like all different kind of stuff in oh, VR. Yeah, we talked about that yeah. on the show months ago. The yep. SWAT training and stuff. Yeah, they, there's York, a lot yeah. of articles I've seen like that where they're starting to use that kind of stuff for real world tra- real world training, which is actually yep. you know the thing about VR is that it actually puts that fear into you. It increases your heart rate. You know, it, it does things to you that help to at least mimic what would really happen in the real world. You know, it's not as intense. It's not anywhere near, sure. you know, what it really would be, but it does put you into the scenario a little bit where it can help training wise, you know, where if something like that happened, you would be better off equipped than just sure. doing a training better where prepared. you sit down in a classroom and they draw on a chalkboard. You know what I mean? It, yeah, it's a lot absolutely. more advanced though. So. Oh yeah. It's really cool stuff though. It's good to see that kind of stuff coming. <laughs> oh my gosh, Chad. <laughs> The open open world driving stuff. Oh, Jason yeah. said, uh, "Cruising the world VR," which like what was that? Cruising USA and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that was some and, older yeah, stuff. Oh yeah. my gosh, I some still of that want old school driving stuff. I still want Forza Horizon. Oh, so good. I want to. So I was trying to think of this the other day. There was an old arcade game, um, and it was I can't not think of the name of it. It was a driving game. I'm pretty sure it had a steering wheel on it, and it you would had there was a loop. It was a track, and you could pick which ho- difficulty of track, and it was a time limit. And the hard one had like a loop and stuff and banked curves and everything. I cannot remember the name of it. Uh, I feel like there's um, been like like Rush and stuff like that. No, old, 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 old. Oh, okay. like co- old big console stuff. Okay. Um, oh man, I cannot think of it. I wish I knew. If anybody, I'm knows sure somebody in chat fact, probably knows what you're talking about. Please drop a comment because yeah. I would love to look up like an emulator for this game somehow. Yeah. Uh, unbelievable. I miss it so much. I wanted to play it. <laughs> uh, I just couldn't remember. It. I was trying yeah. to think of it like a week ago. But. We are getting a lot of the like the driving stuff coming. You know, a lot of like the touring carts. That other one we talked about last I, weekend, where yeah. you know you're driving and shooting and stuff. And there's another one that, that cool. that's coming out. That's kind of like Mario Kart that I've seen some trailers and stuff for. So there's a yeah. lot of that stuff, kind of stuff that is coming to VR. I, I mean, the the horizons are starting to expand a little bit. I think so. Yeah, for I think I forget where it was. Maybe in last episode or comments, Discord somewhere, someone was just asking for a game a driving game that's more like an arcade. Like they said, they liked, I think it was in discord, like, uh, um, need for speed or like test, like something like that. We really don't have anything like that. More arcade ish, do we? Nothing I can Mm. think of that's driving. It's more Sims. Yeah. Or over the top. Like, you know what I mean? Like over the top stuff. There's some of that kind of stuff. Not even over the top, but more like arcade, like hit a boost button. You know what I mean? Like we don't really have a ton that are like that. I, think I know that, we have some, but I think that's coming with some of the, like even like touring carts and stuff like that. And that death right. lap, the death lap is the one we that talked one about does. last week. That one sure. looks really good. I'm actually really excited yep. for that one. Like but, a cop chase one or something. Yeah. Something. I know. Yeah. There's it's so coming. many possibilities still. I mean, it's still such an untapped market that it's just, there's so many things you can still do. That is just insane. But I know. So, It'll yeah. Be, yeah. We'll get something. I'm sure. OC six. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, hopefully some big game announcements and stuff. So, but I think other than that, that's that's pretty much all we had lined up for today. That was all the big stuff we wanted to get into. Yep. But yeah, so I guess this is going to be a big pistol whip trailer coming. Yeah, there is pistol whip. So I think that's uh twenty third or something like that. The the full like official trailer, which I don't even know. We had a trailer from before from one of the other gaming things that uh they showed us, but I guess they they sent out a little teaser trailer, which I actually do have that. We can uh, show that real quick. They showed like a little teaser trailer and saying that the full trailer is coming. Yep. Due to some violent content, parental discretion is advised. 
to get down to this music. <laughs> yeah, for real. So that's supposed to be coming Monday. Is that yeah. uh, the full trailer, not the game? So maybe we'll get right. an official release date, hopefully, because that was actually one of the games that I kind of forgot about. That was uh, pretty hyped when they first showed that trailer. It's almost like oh, a yeah. you know John Wick super hot kind of a game. Rail. It looks awesome. Yeah. I mean, it really looks awesome. That's another thing some people talked about. I think maybe uh, Virtual Reality Oasis talked about a super hot too. You know what I mean? Like right. possibly a super hot too. I mean, that was a, game, a super successful game in VR. Yeah. So yeah, I, I'm looking forward to Pistol Whip. I think that looks really I, good. I feel like if, like if I had Pistol Whip right now and I was to give somebody a try in VR for the first time and they were like, I really like shooters, that's what I would put them in. They don't have to walk around. They yeah. don't have to, you know, get lost in the VR world and real world. So I feel like that would be a lot of fun if there's yeah. good music interactive ducking dodging shooting i mean that's kind of yeah. hits everything right yeah, there in the head so yep and that's uh, I somebody i think it was greg's vr mentioned in the beginning that he was looking forward to getting into the crunch element after this and that was another game that i i really have been ha- i mean it is an early alpha it does have some bugs yep. and stuff but it's a ton of fun and they have some really cool stuff planned for that but i mean yep. just the aspect of sticking that you know sticky grenade on the side of a building blowing a blowing hole it. in the side of the building and oh, going so in cool. like oh so awesome and he does oh, have plans for yeah. multiplayer in that one that one is uh definitely going to be awesome in multiplayer yeah. another one where you oh, can you know fun. make a strategy of two-man team three-man team i think it, it, he talked about you know even if it was just co-op like that would be epic. right and co-op yeah. so yep i think oh. he talked actually about like a three versus three mode in that which yep. is oh man that'd be incredible that so, would be i feel like that's yeah. a must like if he drops that game with three on three or even two on two even two on two would be yeah. fun oh yeah uh oh it would just be a killer game yeah. really would be so if you missed us talking yeah. about that we did talk about that on the last episode for a little while and it was i think he was yeah he was in chat last time yeah. too in the chat talking about it so if you did miss that check that out that was awesome game and you might still be able to get into the beta if you join their discord i think he got a second round of keys i'm not sure if all those are already out yet but definitely right. worth checking into so no uh, no yeah, between uh, between Crunch Element and Contractors coming to Quest, so those are the two like right in the next week. Yeah. Hopefully, we, I mean we get something cool, but yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. I wonder if they're no. I was gonna say I wonder if Contractors are waiting to release information at OC six. I don't know. Could that be? I don't know. Maybe because I mean o- Oculus is already you know supposedly we're officially getting Pavlov and Onward. You know, we haven't heard anything about that. So I don't know. I, I don't know if they would, but I I, right. I still think it's going to be the first one to the market. It's going to be the first one to, the, to do it well and get on the officially on the store. Yep. You know, they're going to have an advantage it, because everybody's going to pick know. it up. And then the next one that comes out, you know, if everybody's super enjoying the first one and they're already, you know, learn the play style, learn the mechanics, you know, it's going to be harder to get all of them to jump ship to another game. I mean, eventually, sure. yeah, they probably will. But right off the bat, you know, it's going to be... I think the it's a race right now. The first one to get onto the store and do a good job of it to where everybody really likes it. That's really going to have an just impact, like if I another think. Beat Saber came out, it's not going to be Beat Saber. Right. You know? I mean, they've it been always doing gets that. compared. Yeah. I mean, there's they they've had a lot of rhythm games like that, but you know they've right. tried to do what Beat Saber did, but Beat Saber was the first one and already got so many people hooked. And the modding community is really sure. what really pushed that game to the next level, but. I yeah. Just so play I some know. contractors. And, uh, I just want to get my hands on it. Man. Yeah. Oh. Another. Uh, Kickstarter, uh, gaming science teacher just mentioned it. That Tilt Five is begins oh, Tuesday. Yeah. Their Kickstarter begins Tuesday, so that's actually a really interesting thing too. We talked about that a little bit. I think when Steve Drumheller was uh, on, yeah. we talked a little bit about the Tilt Five stuff, and it's it looks pretty cool. I mean, especially if you get a couple people that have that and to play, you know, tabletop games and stuff like yep. that, that would be really cool. But that's the thing you got to have, you know, a couple of them to really be able to enjoy. Right it. now, a, man, the the VR Kickstarter stuff is fire right yeah, now it's crazy there's tons of it going on so it's nuts i know cool. but yeah i'm definitely i'm definitely interested in checking out that panther vr that looks really good and we get uh east fire one coming up here pretty soon too so that's true yeah that's, that's true. gonna be i mean that when everybody that's played that loves it so definitely interested to check that one out uh, so how many days we have till oc6 uh, i think it's uh starts thursday wednesday and thursday i think it's so not, not many games man. at all or not many days at all uh not many days till Valve drops some info. Yeah. <laughs> so that is on the 25th That's and 26th, awesome. so Wednesday and Thursday. Yep. So we yep. will, uh, we talked yeah. about maybe doing an, uh, a special episode for all that stuff. Yeah. 
just to be able yep. to talk about it, brainstorm, see what chat thinks and stuff. So we'll probably try to do that depending on, you know, how that works out. It'll probably be maybe Thursday evening, give it time. And maybe on my evening. phone. I don't know. I yeah, don't depending know. on yeah, depending on if Tyler has an actual right? home to stay oh, in gosh. or if he's in between or what's going on. So but yeah. I need to get that internet set up over there. Yeah, you too. gotta do that first Ooh. thing. You do that first thing. Ooh, so. that's gonna be tough. Yeah. yeah. Man, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Anything else? I don't know. I think no, that's I think it. That's guys, pretty much it. Yeah. But yeah. we, uh, we definitely appreciate everybody being here. We have a ton of fun with this. Like always, we love uh chat. I know. And we try to keep up with it, but it's so hard to see everybody. So I know I got to yeah. figure out my new VR setup, man. It's yeah. got, I got to get my final, you know, thoughts in that's, yeah. this is going to be it. So yep. anybody else has any ideas, discord it. I mean, it's, yeah, you'll have to put up some images happen. and stuff of maybe what you're working with and kind of keep us updated on the, the plan. I know you're uh, talking about finishing the basement area. So I know that'll be the long term. That's eventually. Goal. Yeah. yeah so. That's going to be a yeah, longer project. There's not even stud walls in the basement and stuff. So yeah. I may use it for some play space cause it's a huge basement. Yeah, so take the quest down there. Right. I know I could actually do what they're doing with these, like, yeah, you, you know, can... when they're doing warehouses and yeah. stuff, you know? Yeah. That would be awesome. Actually. That'd be <laughs> that would cool, be, that'd so. be pretty cool. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. We'll have to figure something out, but yeah, we'll get there. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. All I right. think that's it. Well, thanks Anybody for being here in for sure. Chat, drop it, drop it now. We'll let it roll out here for a minute. Yep. Um, but yeah, we really like hanging out with you guys. Good talking. Yep. Please um, uh, subscribe and hit that like button yeah. for us. Definitely helps us out. So does our like button work? I don't know. I don't know. I think they should test it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but all right well we will see you guys probably this week probably a special episode this week so look yeah, forward yeah. to that look forward to some oc6 stuff can't wait definitely excited could live stream Ooh. yeah we might we'll figure i might have to take a day off for that one right? <laughs> yeah all right, all right guys. guys yep we'll see we you next see week you later see you in vr maybe yep maybe <laughs> i'd like to yeah for later sure. guys later see you